Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Nothing like old man type stuff. Sub Sky here, four seconds. Well, it can be more than that, but it's unlikely, so when you do get it, it's usually four. Or three and a half, but generally four. Whenever it does work. No, there is not, but that's besides the point. Okay. I was making sure that my stick wasn't fucked. Um I had to like hold down a lot so my Welcome. analog stick feels a bit weird. Um anyway, hello Sky and Aria. Hope you are both doing very well today. Um it's consistent enough, I think. Um, I'm only gonna get more consistent at it if I keep practicing it, so, like, it, you know. I think it's good enough, because there are only two ways in which you can miss it that are actually a big deal. Every other way of missing it hardly loses anything, and they're more common, so that's good. And the other thing is, as well, is that, like, it's easier than doing, like, two sandwich out-of-bounds. And I'm doing two sandwich out-of-bounds. Granted, it's later in the run, but I don't know. But now I'm really in a rush to get a, a monumental gold because I really wanted a 59-59 summer best. I thought that would have been fucking sick to have it in the segmented run. But, if I gold Navo and Men by, like, as much as possible, and then gold Monumental, it'll be, like, a 59-58. And if I don't gold Monumental, then my gold has cat ears. So, basically, I need to get my ass to Monumental, like, immediately. So, I need to continue more shitty runs. So, if I'm continuing shitty runs, I might as well go for Navo and Men, the Navo and Men strat anyway. Um, although I want gold by four if I get it. Yeah, I, I have every gold highlighted. I've been doing that since, for, uh, since 2020. Um, have a proud collection of golds. I even golded frogfish by exactly 0.1 yesterday. So, my Navo Men gold has a ledge grab skip that I have just haven't gotten in two years. Or it might be a bit less than two years, but, you know, 2021, so two years. Um, so, if I say four seconds, and then then you have to subtract 1.5. So, I'll actually be golding equivalent then by 2.5 seconds. However, then, if I get the ledge grab skip for this trick, which you need the really good setup to do, but it is entirely possible. If you get the ledge grab skip... Then you save 1.5, which means I'd be golden by 4 seconds, which means that my summer best would be half a second away from 59. It just set, like, dude, my, my, I didn't think I'd get here this quickly, though. My knucklehead gold still is not very good, and doesn't have the 1 in 3 middle door RNG, which implies it's, like, an easy segment of gold. It's just, like, played really fucking good outside of the RNG, that's the th And it doesn't have a strat I do now that saves, like, a quarter of a second. So that kind of sucks, and I really need a gold monumental. Um, but there's no reason for me to just not implement the strat that I, I've already, I've already put like two hours of practice into it already, since uh, the practice mod got me last night. Thank you for the good luck, Sky. I appreciate it. Um, Spice fifty. I don't know. It'll be made pretty quickly after I get fifty nine summer burst. Golds will be compiled, and if I gold anything in the meantime, then we'll just chuck it in there. But yeah, the I, you know. 
it probably won't take very long. Hi, Liberal. Nice haircut. Did you get that haircut from the Liberal store? No, I... Well, according to everybody in my chat, I got it from the girl store. But anyway, hello, Lena. I hope your Tuesday is going good. The most notable thing that's happened in this household today on this Tuesday is that my dog's got haircuts. Yeah, I just went in there, and I was like... Hi, I'm looking for girl here. And then they were like... This, bro, this is the, uh, this is the boy toy store. And I'm like, ah, oh, shit, can you direct me to the girl, to the girl store? It's like, yep, it's just next door. And I'm like, alright, thank you, bro. I go in there, I'm like, I have girl here. And then they're like, why do you need it? You already look like a girl. Crying emoji, crying emoji, crying emoji, crying emoji. And now we're here. Wasn't very nice of him, honestly. Dude, I, I just can't believe I had short hair for, like, all this time. Because, like, I look better with longer hair, and I just didn't even know. I didn't even know that my hair didn't get curly. I don't even... It's just naturally very straight. Just like me. Um... Where is the non-binary store? You'll have to go somewhere that doesn't, uh, that doesn't have computers in the building. And other technology. Haha, <laughs> get it. What do you give me the cap emoji for? Fuck you. Pepper Foundation, that is so cappage, brev. I'm actually, um, I'm actually, um, a, a gaydar expert, and my gaydar is, like, off the charts when I see you. It's you right now. SpongeBob. Oh, uh, I forgot to add back Blair. I knew I fucking forgot to do something. And XDD, I haven't added them back. I was supposed to go through some emotes, just delete them, and then add back, like, Blair and XDD, but I literally just forgot. I don't remember if there were any other good emotes I got rid of, but if I can't remember, then they're probably not good. Spongebob when Neptune tells him he only has three days to retrieve the crown. Well, the result of driving a burger. Anyway, hello Lucy. Hope your day is going fantastic. I like that emote. Yeah, the movie's pretty fucking fast. It's an hour 15 without credits, which means that this run is a lot faster than the actual movie. And No Major Glitches isn't that far off either. In fact, All Extras is faster than the movie. You can watch an entire All Extras run before you'd finish watching the damn movie. That's kind of crazy. But getting extra content. And we still beat it faster than the movie. Which really just goes to show how fucking fast this game actually is. This is the type of game that casually is quite beefy, you know? Like, at least for games back then. A lot of them, you could beat them pretty quick. Um, Because I feel like when the people when they transition to, like, the 3D era, I feel like games generally got shorter because they took so long to make that you couldn't, you know, the objectives don't last as long and shit. Um, I, this game is kind of beefy for, like, a casual playthrough, but, like, in a speedrun, like, we're just able to do so much. Hello, Six Seal and Maya Bell. I hope you are both doing good. And Burger as well. I hope you're also doing good. Welcome. 
Yeah, so my objective is to just get some mid or bad runs going and then try and gold uh, Navo men, Plank, and Knucklehead, and then hopefully get 59 Summer Burst. That is the goal. Should hopefully work out well, but we will see. So there'll be a little more leniency with the runs today, but, you know, I'm not going to let myself fuck up anything major before, like, rubber dub. Manager coming. Cool. Yeah, I'm doing alright, thanks. Um... Manager coming through. Yeah, just an average day, I suppose. Woke up, you know, brushed my teeth and all that, put clothes on. And then I practiced a lot of movie. I spent, like, a while practicing, um... I don't even know what to call the strat. Nothing good to call it. I'll just call it Chris Animation Skip, I guess. Because, like, what else am I gonna call it? Or I guess, like, Chris Token Skip. But that makes it sound like you just don't even touch the token. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Unemployed motherfuckers be like, damn, I got Pibble Foundation stream do it for. Well, it might be someone's day off. Whenever I'm in Cardiff and I just see, like, hundreds of people here, I'm always like, damn, do you guys have jobs? Like, what are you doing? Do you have jobs? Like, it doesn't matter what day of the week you go, like, on a weekday, it's like a billion people there. <laughs> All the time, and it's just like, do you guys have jobs? A manager is always prepared. And then they're probably walking around like, damn, do you guys have jobs? And I'm like, I don't have a job. And then they're like, I don't have a job either. And then I'm like, for real, and then they're like, for real. And then we live happily ever after. Morning to afternoon. If I worked, I don't know why I would prefer- I probably wouldn't want to do night shifts, but... I'm not sure if I'd want to wake up, like, super early to do a job, or if I'd want to wake up at, like, a, a nice time, but then... You know, have a lot of the daytime, like, not- uh, the, in the afternoon, like, in work. I don't know. I don't know what I'd want. I mean, it might not even be up to me, but you know what I mean? Just if I had the choice. Yeah, if I was working like eight hours, when would I want to do the work? I don't know. I don't know when I want to do work. Mm. Generally, like you kind of push to like get a lot of work experience when you're younger. It feels like um. You know, it, 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 it obviously, uh, you can use that to get employed to even bigger, better things. Make yourself look good. But at the same time, it's like, a lot, like, when I was 16, when we finished our exams, we had the longest summer we've ever had, like, off school. Normally, in the UK, you get, like, six weeks off school, um, in the summer. But this time, we had, like, 14 weeks off or something. And a lot of people spent, like, the whole 14 weeks just, like, working. And yeah, it might have only been, like, part-time, and it might not have been that hard, but it's, like... This is, like, the longest summer that, w that we'll ever get, and, like... They're gonna do anything with it? I don't know. Then again, I spent my summer at home. But that's besides the point. I fucking loved every minute of it. Society cannot live without movie runners. We are kind of the backbone that allows these countries to function, that is true. I, I should go on movie strike, and then the whole country would collapse. For real. Thank you. Every time a movie runner resets, a life is saved. Are you tell me I've saved like over twenty thousand lives. That's pretty based. I should I deserve like compensation for that. 
Yeah, it's fair, I guess. When I went out, it was always... With friends, it was always pretty early. Besides, if you stay out too long, uh, you'll get stabbed by a funny British man. Hey. Uh, well, I'd like to wake up now. If I lived in London, I would like never ever leave the house. If there's even like a little bit of like, if the sun's gone down even a little bit. <laughs> Lundies. God, it's fucking hot in this room. Welcome. You know, like, uh, those on Twitter when people do, like, draw their OCs and it's like a stripping game? This many likes or, and or retweets, like, strips the... You need that for Pipple Foundation stream, take the shirt off? How many subs to take the fucking shirt off? 57 subs. That's how many. <laughs> True. I give London shit, but I do want to go back there. I, I went there before my grandparents when I was quite young, uh, and Jam was there too. And I enjoyed it, but we went on, um, we got there on a bus, and we were only there for a few hours, and, like, the whole thing took forever. I remember playing Mario Kart and, and Top Trumps in the bus with Jam. Mario Kart DS and Top Trumps DS. Those were the days. But, like, it'd be nice to actually go there for, like, a couple days. But London's pretty fucking expensive. To the point where you could literally just, you know, go anywhere else f and for probably longer and cost the same amount of money. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager... Oh yeah, no, I wouldn't live there, but I, I would like to go to- I would like to go there for a few days. For sure. Yeah, I'll go there like... A few days a year, or something. But there's no point, I, li I live too far away and it's too expensive, so... Me and Jam had talks before about, uh... This is a job for. Going to, uh... Birmingham, because they have, like, events, cool events there and shit, but... I don't think it's actually- I don't think we're actually doing that, because, um... I, he's already taken a chunk of time off this year, he probably won't be able to take more time off. Passed out drunk outside of a bagel shop. And someone attempts to pickpocket you. I see. I can't say that's happened to me. Although, the, the town that my- the jam was in during university, it's a good town, but he did- Someone did try to rob him, if I remember correctly. That was years ago. Hello, Kurdies, how you doing today on this wonderful Tuesday? Tummy Tuesday. 
Is it just me or do I always stream on Tuesdays? I swear I always say every Tuesday. I find myself saying Tummy Tuesday in the chat. I swear I'm streaming every Tuesday. <laughs> Downtown Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Yeah. I, I guess if you just go there in the daytime and don't go in the outskirts, it's probably pretty good. I've been to London like twice. First time was to do the touristy stuff with family. That's basically what I did. And the second time I was just visiting a friend. Yeah. No, I did not say skirts. Die. That's cool. Lucy, yeah, again, I think you just have to, like... Be smart about where you go, though. Uh, Peppa, how are you doing today? Thank you for the good luck. Although it is not Chippy Tuesday. It is actually Boy Tummy Tuesday. Um, Chippy Saturday will be soon. Well, not really soon, but be in a few days. Sensitive to smells. Smell piss everywhere in London. Every time I go on vacation to summer in England, you smell weed like once a day, at least. I've never played uh, Drawn to Life now. I think I saw the game in CEX before I didn't buy it. I think London's worth going to, like, at least, like, once, but, you know, these nuts, etc. CX is fucking bussin'. But, well, I bought a bunch of games there recently. Um, I bought Attack of the Toy Bots. I bought South South Park Fractured Bahal. I bought um. You know when you buy stuff and you forget what you bought. Yeah, it's me right now. Oh yeah, I bought Scooby Doo. Uh, Scooby-Doo Unmasked on Xbox. Um, and then I forgot what, the, what else I bought. But basically, everything I bought was good value. Whenever I look at a price of something at CEX, I look up the price on eBay. And, like, everything I bought was, like, where it should be or lower than, like, what was going on eBay. Ever since 2022, CEX have gone so based. They sell actually a surprising amount of stuff that actually matches or is lower than the cheapest prices on eBay. Honestly, the big issue with CEX is that a lot of the time, a lot of things don't come with manuals, but... That's why you look inside the case for the manual. Hello, Chris. I hope your day is... Christastic. That is... Cool! I bought a Mountain Dew recently. I forgot what it was called, and I haven't drank it yet, but I bought one. I think it was like dark something. Probably dark berry, maybe. I don't know. Is the room spinning or is it just me? Yeah, it can be pretty tempting, Six, because it's easy to just like kind of forget. Like. You know, uh, some countries are switching more, especially because of COVID, they're switching to more, like, you know, using credit compared to actual physical cash. But one of the problems with that is, is that it's really easy to just dump money and just not realize it. Because when you actually buy something with, like, actual physical cash, 
you know beforehand and even during it that you're you know you're pulling out your wallet and you actually open the wallet and you're grabbing all the cash you're counting all the cash that is in your wallet it's hard to budget yourself and it's hard to fully process like oh yeah this is my fucking money that i'm spending and on buying things online is just like it's so especially through amazon i i forget what i bought like a third of the time it's kind of bad especially because packages come here every like two days my parents are always, or me, are always buying something, whatever it is. Yeah, I've had some. Well, all the Mountain Dew I've had, almost all of the Mountain Dew I've had has been from the US, but I. I've had, like, Frostbite, and I've had, um. Uh, shit, you know? Speaking of not remembering stuff, I don't remember the names of, like, any of the Mountain Dews I've had. Oh, well, point is, I've drank quite a few of them. Mountain Dew is definitely, like, the best drink I've had. Just ever. It's definitely just, like, the best drink. Even just a normal Mountain Dew tastes really good. Fucking way better than any of the fucking drinks here. Yeah, bruh. After you take the case to the tills. They do that uh, sometimes around here. I bought a copy of uh, Simpsons Hit and Run on PC. And originally, like, there was no manual in it. But then they put a manual in. And they don't normally do that. But I think they just do it for, like, specific things. I think they sometimes do it in cases where manuals individually are valuable. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, which is really dumb as well, Lena, because it's just like... It's just like the future now, you shouldn't get fucking taxed on it. There's one retro store in England I go to where they only accept cash. And I didn't know that before we went there, but luckily I had cash on me. I just took it just in case. Um, so the- these days, when we go- when we go there, I- I don't know I don't- I never buy a ton from there. But I should take, like, especially just in case my card gets declined or something. I usually take, like, 200 quid or something on me. But I still obviously got my card. In case I need to go to an ATM. Or if I could just use it. Map glitching. If you're talking about the skybox getting fucky, is because, yeah, like, when you, when you go out of bounds, like, the skybox... Just freaks out. I found one um. Okay, that was pretty close. Yeah, sometimes CEX really just does have overpriced stuff. However, if you sell a lot of stuff to them and get credit out of them, then sometimes it can work out to be cheaper to get something from CEX. Also, just, like, the nice feeling of getting the game or console or whatever immediately, it also feels really good. Dude, I- there was this hard drive I was looking to get from CEX, and I didn't buy it, but then we, we went to that same exact CEX the next day and it wasn't there anymore, I was fucking sad. I was like, dude, I should have bought it, and then I was like, oh my god, we're going tomorrow, I can get it, and then it wasn't there. Lena, how about you give me 200 pound? Because I then I can buy things that I want, such as, but not limited to, the IQ. And... Hello Kitty Xbox. Well, I need a lot more than 200 for that, but, you know, it's a start. One day I'll own a fucking IQ, and one day I'll own an, an N64 disk drive, but that day is not today. Why not 300? Well, why not 7 billion at that point, you know what I mean? You gotta draw, you gotta draw a line somewhere. Anyway, hello Venom, how you doing today? That is not true, Lena. I need the Hello Kitty Xbox 
there's less and less of them as time goes on. Because eventually people are either not willing to sell them or they break down. I need to get my hands on a fucking Hello Kitty Xbox. But they're all- they're all, there's only a few hundred of them and they're only in Japan. And some of them probably have bad loads or are broken down or people aren't willing to sell them. And then, if I buy a Hello Kitty Xbox, there's a thing of like, do I mod it? Because then it's like- I don't know, it's so rare and exp and I could just like wipe the soft mod if I didn't want to do it, but like, I don't know. I'm kind of just thinking that if I do ever get one of just not soft modding it. <coughs> I did- that cough was unexpected. Coach. <coughs> 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 When I had COVID, I didn't really have a cough. I had, um... I just felt like shit. I didn't really have a cough. My parents kind of lost their sense of taste, I think, but I didn't. My nose was kind of stuffy, though. I also got a PC hit and run copy earlier this year. I just had to get one CX because my eBay vision came with corrupted cutscene files. That is strange. Um... I got mine from CEX because not only was it matching the cheapest prices on eBay, all the ones on eBay were second print, like best sellers version. Whereas like the one in CEX was actually like the first print, which is fucking based. And uh, the manual's in really good condition as well. Yeah, I was really happy with that purchase. I got it from the card of CEX. Um, sorry to hear that you're stressed. Hopefully you are not stressed soon. I was thinking getting the Mountain Dew Xbox, but then at that point, if I get the Halo one and the Mountain Dew one and all that, I gotta get, like, all of them. In a retro store I go to, um, they have a beautiful condition Halo Xbox that's been chipped, so it's hard modded. And it's in amazing condition and it comes with a controller. But, uh, it's expensive. One of the proudest things I own is an N64 disk drive game. Uh, complete. But the only thing being a mark, an obvious mark on the cartridge, which really sucks, but... I got it for 50 quid. Even loose copies on eBay go for like 80. One day I'd love to own a prototype cartridge or disc of something that's like rare and expensive. That didn't work. No. I can't continue the run if you're that bad. I want to continue runs so I can get golds, but like, no, 15 minutes in, that seems a bit... Then for like 45 minutes, I'm continuing a run that has literally zero chance of PB. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I've been wanting to play Bully, but the game runs a fucking 30 FPS. Like, it just doesn't feel good. And I know you, that you can use a mod. You can download a mod to, like, up the frame rate, but then it locks it to the monitor's refresh rate, and my refresh rate is above 60 hertz. And also the physics just get fucky at higher refresh rates anyway, or higher frame rates. So... Even if it is 60, it's still not playing like how it's supposed to. Uh... I tried it on PC, but... Yeah. Um... 
The, the thing is with playing Bully, like, on something, like, I think it's on PS2, for example. The thing is with playing it on there is that I'm pretty sure the game would be 50 hertz, and then the physics are fucked anyway. And, like, which would make it 25 FPS, unless unless the console versions are actually 50 and not 25. But then that's just even more confusing, because then why would the PC version be, th be 30 and then this would be si uh, 60? Also, the loads would probably be really long. I also just don't... I have no good PS2 controllers. I have, like, five PS2 controllers and they're all terrible. Okay... Yeah. I don't even know, like, what consoles Bully came out for. But uh, but chances are I'd have to play it at 50Hz, and then- which might be 25FPS. And then, you know, if I can get high frame rate on the PC version, that's basically my only good option at that point. Dude, my dog won't shut the fuck up. I hear a barking outside. My mum was cutting the grass earlier. She was, she was mowing the lawn. And she wouldn't let my dog outside because my dog is badly behaved and the entire time she's just fucking whimpering and scratching the door like for the entire time. Even though my dad was home and I was home. There's like separation anxiety or whatever it's called. There was one time when my mum literally walked like... 30 steps away to let my other dog take a shit and she was crying because my mom wasn't like right next to her No, I do not Lena Before meowing became cringe I used to do that to my cats though Three hundred fucking hell Oh, that sucks. I'm always in the charity shops looking for bargains. I wish I found that. <laughs> now that does really suck, though. Uh, now I'm trying to think of the rarest game I own, and it probably is that disk drive game. Even with the mark, it'd probably go for like £100. Yeah, there have been some stories about people just finding stuff in, like, random bargain bin places, basically. Just where people just don't know what they have. Generally, uh, cashies and charity shops. That's where the gold is sometimes, but it's also pretty few and far between. But somebody, um, one of the retro shop guys told me, uh, retro store owners before told me... Near the shop, there was a uh, Pokemon XD at a charity shop, and they were selling it for like two quid or something. And Pokemon XD these days goes for like two hundred. I don't even have XD. I want XD. Yeah, exactly. I, I yeah. I don't really want rare stuff to sell it unless I already own it. You know, if you had two Dragon Balls, then yeah, why not sell one of them, but why would you have two? You know? The prices of these things will probably keep going up anyway. So it's probably best to wait until potentially you might... Maybe there'll be a day where you need to sell them for just some quick money or whatever. But at that point, they'll be worth even more, probably. So it's, it's just worth waiting for as long as you can. I just like to own expensive things. I don't want to sell them, generally. Yeah. 
Yeah, I would definitely try and reclaim it if I were you. The fact that it was in your hands before and now you don't have it, like, that really sucks. Seventy. Wait, can't you just buy a bunch of copies from CEX then and then sell them on eBay? Dude, I need to keep an eye out on that game now. I've seen a couple Dragon Ball games, but I don't know if I've seen that one. I have no idea. I don't I don't play Dragon Ball games, so I don't know. Um but I might have seen it before and it's, it, it can sell for a lot of money. I'll have to write the name of the game down to, to my- I'll have to have a look out. Fuck. I don't understand why CX would sell for so cheap then. Tell me about it because now I've got it on the brain just in case. You know what I said? Like, the problem with doing no resets is that they just make you play like shit. Yeah. Domino effect. The first time I've made that mistake in ages. I don't think it's a coincidence. Dutchman is rare. Uh, well, the PAL GameCube version is rare and expensive. That's why I couldn't get my hands on one. It was selling in CX for like 30-something pound, and now it's selling for like over 40. Battle GameCube PAL is really expensive. It was like 40, and now it's up to like 50. I got it for 55 recently. And now I'm kicking myself because several years ago, I saw a brand new one for like 40 and I didn't buy it. Yeah. Which is quite a bit. Um... For a, well, for a bad game, it is quite a bit of money. GameCube games, to be fair, are usually not... They're usually double digits, but still Dutchman. I think it's more of a case of it being r actually rare rather than it being, like... There are some things that are expensive because they're good, but, like, that must just be expensive because it's rare. Because, keep in mind, the PS2 version is practically fucking unplayable. So you basically have to play the GameCube version, which would just make it even more rare. Or, or more valuable, I guess. Now, I played it on something called, you know, Dolphin Emulator, but... No fucking way I was buying a fucking copy of that fucking game. There's no way I was doing a sub-goal 
for a game that costs more money to buy than I got compensated to play it when I spent seven and a half hours on it and the game is terrible. There was no fucking way. So, yeah. Damn right I was playing on Dolphins. <laughs> I'm talking about the PAL GameCube version, Venom. My PAL, my PS2 version couldn't even get past fucking... I couldn't get past the safe preference, it kept crashing. And then I tried the toothpaste method, and then I got past that like once, but the game still crashed like 10 minutes later. Well, if the game is already shitty anyway, then the more scratched it is, like, the, you know, it's just... Mine was pretty scratched, but if the game barely functions anyway, then the more scratches, like, it's really gonna affect it. But, like, keep in mind, the kids are gonna scratch the discs. Like, there's going to be an average amount of scratches on your Dutchman disc, if you had it as a kid, you know? And that thing is probably not going to run well. <laughs> I'm getting a bit nervous now. The trick is not in this split, it's in the next split, but... I have no idea if I'll get it or not. One game I need to get again, by the way, is uh, Double Dash. Well, I, I need a. I bought it on eBay years ago, and I only looked at it recently again, and the case is clearly not the right case, and it doesn't come with manual. So I need to rebuy Double Dash. I have the case for Melee, but not the disc, so I need the disc for that. And, I, and my Pokemon Sun... My Pokemon Sun has a reprinted thingy and no manual. And my, uh, Super Paper Mario is also reprinted and I can't remember if it comes with manual or not. But it also just feels like... I'm just throwing away money. If I'm just, just buying plastic and pieces of paper. I don't know. But at the same time, I mean, I guess it's kind of normal. Like, for example, my brother bought just a, um, a case and uh, manual and stuff of Pokemon Platinum for like £30. Because he had the cartridge and all that stuff, and it's just, I guess that's just kind of, you know. So, you know, I guess I shouldn't feel, oh wait, also, Trick coming up. God damn it.
I see. Other Dragon Ball games is rare. <laughs> There's a lot of them, I know that. But I'd imagine they could be pretty rare over here because... I mean, obviously games like that would be more, like especially back then, like Japan would be more into that. Hello, Wokan. How are you doing today? On the Boy Tummy Tuesday. Julio. I'm, j I'm doing a new reset because I tried to gold this segment with a strat and I fucked it up, but I still have uh, Monumental and Knucklehead to potentially gold. I'd rather be here than the no choose, so... Alright, I see. I don't know, like... <laughs> I think it's really funny whenever, like, games come out, like, way after a console's died. I think that- I think there's, uh, I think... There were games of PS2 that came out, like, in the 2010s. Can't pick a theme, ask chat, chat GBT, and it'll do it for you, XD. Well, sometimes I have ideas for mods, but then I just instantly forget about them because I'm like, oh yeah, wait, I don't mods, I don't mod the game. But one idea that I had that I thought was cool was that maybe SpongeBob and Patrick, like, rob a bank or something, and then they do some shit, maybe you have to fight... You know, you, you could give, like, foggers and stuff, like, um, police outfits or whatever. Then, um, it transitions to a load, obviously, and then, uh, you're in the paddy wagon, and, uh, you have the cops chasing you, and you're, like, getting away. But then you have to stop the paddy wagon to, like, fuel at the, at the gas station. Well, SpongeBob's fueling the gas, and then you turn to Patrick, and then you have to, like, kill all the enemies while you're fueling gas, and... God damn it. That was a- anyway, that was a cool idea that I had. I always have bussin' ideas. Some of my ideas got into BFB mix. Although, unfortunately, um, I had a really cool idea for, like, the hub world and Sky didn't do it. Sky went for a completely different approach. Tell you what, you can steal my idea, um, if it's somewhere in the mod, there's some Pebble Foundation reference somewhere. How about that? Cool, we have a deal. Some Wii games are released in 2020. I, I guess the mentality is like, oh, everybody has a Wii, and it's like, yeah, but like, nobody's gonna want to buy a new game for the Wii, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just like, weird. Cat GPT. Uh. No, you're a cat. Oh yeah, I downloaded that floating block mod that I was talking about yesterday that was in the releases channel. I haven't actually booted it up to see if it works, but I probably didn't fuck it up. So it's pretty fun. Up we go. That wasn't so tough. I don't know, just uh B block or something like B block block galaxy, but like in movie, I think. I said this before, but, like, a lot of the mods are for movie for some reason. It's kind of interesting. Well, I guess movie just has more options that you can, like, fuck with. Come on. God damn it. Dude, that throw is hard. Either you get a good camera angle, and then the- and then your, um, analog angle, analog stick angle sucks. 
Or you can't fucking see, but your analog stick angle is good. You can't have it both ways, you gotta have one or the other. Annoying. Hello, Cody, how you doing today? Just Dance 2020 for the Nintendo Wii, so true. Yeah, like, who, the, who would buy that? Customizable. Yeah. Battle mods are... The, the big mods come out for battle, but, like, all the little ones come out for movie. It's interesting. More creative freedom with movie, I feel like. Although... I, I would imagine that some people maybe just don't like the upgrade system or something. Or, like, they like, I don't know, but, but then you can do stuff with that. Or maybe they don't like the SpongeBob Con Slam, maybe they don't like that there's no Sandy. I would I would mod movie instead of BFB because well well okay um the modding tutorial the one that Tetrax made like has uses battle as a base but outside of that I'd want to use movie because there's just more I can do and then it'd be cooler to show it off on stream it's it's more applicable to the stream because you know what am I running right now and people I believe you are running SpongeBob's Atlantis Squipantis. Yeah, the uh, IP was made for battle first and foremost, and now it's... Like, movie works a lot better on it than before, but it still kind of has battle, like, kind of low-key as, like, a priority, I believe. I mean, at least that's how it was a few years ago. I don't know if that's how it is now. Extra D I can't remember if I said before, but my hub world idea that I have for Sky for BFB mix was to like have it be minimally themed, and then you go through elevators to get through the to get to the levels, and then you actually get to play the main part of minimally by finding like a secret entrance to like the minimally basement or whatever. Sky was originally gonna do that, and then they bailed on it. Unfortunately, I thought it would have been fucking sick. But at least a couple of my ideas got into BFV mix. The sandcastle idea, like rescuing the children in the sandcastles, was like my idea. And Hole and Sponge was also my idea. So my legacy lives on. I hope that worked. You know when you press R, and then it doesn't work? Okay, thank you. Screenshot these nuts. Screenshot them anyway. Also, uh, this is still on realistic 102 pace, so that's another reason to continue the run. Run's been dead since Rubber Dub 2, but I really wanted that Nalo Man Gold and they didn't get it. <laughs> so I might as well keep going. This can just be, hopefully, be more of a chill stream where I just, like, go for golds, finish a bunch of runs. I think that might be good.
Because then I can care a bit less about consistency and just, like, aim for golds. Just get some 102s. I think I'm always, like, too worried or stressed about, like, the idea of just, like... If I continue this run early into the stream, then I'm wasting time that I could be spending getting a good run going, but, like... I don't know. I hardly ever get runs going in the last, like, two hours of stream anyway, so it's not that big a deal. And there's always the next day. And the day after that. And the day after that. And the next day. And the next day. And the next day. God, I'm like unnecessarily tired. I, I got like seven hours of sleep. I feel like that should be enough. And even like getting less sleep allowed me to actually practice the Chris animation skip. Bad Sunday, but it's fine. I don't really care about that. It kind of sucks that I won't get 359 before getting 59 Summer Burst, but like, it's just too hard. I'm not meant to have my anime arc with that. Gold is just, like... I'm not gonna get it just in time. It's just gonna, you know. It's one of the hardest segments in the run to gold. It's four minutes of, like, fucking perfection. This is looking kind of good right now. Gold potential? Question mark.
Hmm. I have a feeling this could gold. I guess gold is really good, but I was never able to beat it. It skips stacks I don't normally skip, but because I grabbed the SCDA stack now, I can skip the stacks and guess, like, every time. And there are two respawns here, and I used to double jump uh, in, in this segment just now. I single jump for both of them. It makes it go from free to easy to, like, get to jump over the cutscene triggers, but... I think I should, probably should be doing it. Especially both times combined, I'm probably losing, like, quite a handful of frames. Damn it. I don't know how it didn't gold, but there's always next time, I suppose. Yeah, this is a pretty safe 102 pace, assuming Mindy Skip works. Not exactly worried about Mindy Skip at the moment. For the most part, I've kind of lost hope of golding this segment. I looked back at my gold recently, and... It's really good. It is possible for me to beat it, but if I ever do beat it, it'll be by, like, a few frames. Like, I do a half a second time save now, but my gold didn't buffer the token like I do now, and I didn't realize that. I just fucking... You know... I got springy legs, yeah, I probably killed on zone. Unless I get Patrick Ledge grab. Like probably the worst thing about my gold is that when I popped back in bounds I I spun because my angle was bad. I need more distance. That only loses a few frames. And it doesn't have that half a second-ish time save that I have now. But it also had its own advantage over what I do here.
Okay, monumental gold attempt number 400. <laughs> And I fucked it up, cool. Oh uh, yeah. Um, yeah, no, you need a PS1 memory card to, to save uh, PS1 games. Which is a bit dumb, because the PS1 memory cards are very small. And it just would have been nice to have her on the PS2 instead, but, uh, you know. That's never happened to me before. Yeah, the like the the granted the save games are probably the save games are probably uh smaller too, but like dude, eight times smaller, like that's fucking that's overkill. What are you gonna do with that? Although, I found the 8, um, 8 megs and 16 megs on game, at least with GameCube saves, is just really small for some reason. You run out after, like, fucking 6 games. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, yeah, fair. Buying, like, knockoff memory cards is sometimes a good idea. Although, I don't know how reliable some of them are. Like, there's PS- there's GameCube and, and PS2 memory cards that say 120 megs, but I don't even think they support that much memory. Like, I think the memory cards do have that much storage, but I'm pretty sure the console can't tap into all of it. I did have to buy a 128 megabyte one, though. I was trying to mod my GameCube, and I was trying to use, like, a save exploit, but it was, like... The save game exploit for Pokemon XD and the boot thing into the soft mod, they're just too big. So my 59 block memory card was just not... It could barely fit Pokemon XD on it. It was just like, dude, what the fuck? I can bring back the paddy wagon, but you're I have no idea how I lost like point six off the gold or something. I have no idea. Yeah. I have a 128 megabyte one, but it came with a f free McBoot, I think it's called. The game pre installed with some stuff, so. You know, there's that. My name is Jujutana. Hello, Nova. How? Wait, that's not Nova. Oh, wait, no, it is Nova. The thingy's fucked. Hello, Nova. Thank you for the Prime subscription for 56 months. Hold on, 12, 24, 36, 60. Damn. Thank you for the continued support. Welcome back to the Pibble Foundation Nations Relations. Um, just wanted to let you know that because I implemented a time save, 59 Summer Best probably will happen relatively soon. Um, so just letting you know. Thank you, sir. That is nice of you. Has the guy, um... Has the guy, like, highlighted this shit yet?
I understand wanting to keep the consoles, like, um, in their original form. Um... But at the same time, you get a lot more out of them when you mod them. I modded my PSP, and now I can do more shit with that. I modded my PS2, modded my Wii. Well, especially my Xbox, I get a lot out of that, but obviously... It, you just get more out of a console that you already care about a lot. You gotta think of it like that, you know? But, at the same time, you know, I don't blame you. I'm trying to think if, if, I, if I have any mod consoles that are easy to mod and yet I don't have them modded. I don't think so. I think they're all modded. You know, I don't want to sound like one of those guys who's just like... Um, did you know that um, the 3DS is, like, really easy to mod, but, like... Dude, <laughs> you get so much more out of it. It really isn't, like, a hard process either. In fact, even if you brick the 3DS, it's possible to recover it. So there's, like, basically no actual, like, harm in trying. Yeah. PSP modding is, like, stupid easy. Nah, I've been busy. I was pretty hyper-focused on beating Stick of Truth, and I finally did that, but then I- I- I spent- I've spent, like... Ever since learning- well, I've, I've spent about two hours learning this new Shrek. I say new, it's existed for a couple years. I still have a couple things I need to do. I want to practice the trick more. And, uh, I need to share and stuff. And also, I, I need to, uh, test something with my GameCube. Um. Then I will probably have time to watch the video. I- I think that's the one that I had when I was younger. Because I swear I remember having... I mean, I definitely had a DVD of Spongebob that- or it could have been VHS, but I think it was DVD that had, like, Dutchman advertisements on it. And I feel like I remember the Scaredy Pants episode being on the... But I could potentially be misremembering. Thanks. I oh, yeah, another another thing I'll need to do after stream is highlight golds or 102s or 101s if I get them. Including right now, I need to highlight this one at the end of the stream. 102 number 26. That's weird. That means I've spent like over 26 hours just getting 102s. more than a whole day. Kill him! Kill him, you idiot! Idiot? Uh, no, no! Uh, idiot! I think the only part it misses is when SpongeBob dances and then, it, you know, when it, like, shatters the screen. I think that's the only part it misses. Covered my crown and saved Bikini Bottom, SpongeBob. And yeah, that. <laughs> you have performed a manly deed. 
It makes me wonder if it just originally wasn't in, like, the actual movie or whatever. They probably just ripped the music from... Just, they were just given that, and it was like, okay. Or maybe it just didn't really fit, because it would imply that, you know, because... Yeah, I don't know. Might just not fit with the fight. This drinks this can still smells like prime. Go outside and get some sun. You look awfully pale. Alright, well I continue that run for three golds and I got zero golds. Let's do it again. I after all I do have some more hours. But, dude, I need that fucking monumental goal, bro. I mean, I guess so. SpongeBob has that speech at the end of the thingy, but yeah, I guess there's, it, there's no, like, clear gradual thing. I think the only implication the SpongeBob and Patrick still like being kids is Sunday. Because that's the shit that they're dreaming of, even in a situation like that. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Never fear, good citizens. Scary pants, imitation crabs, Frank and Doodle. I was a teenage Gary Squibb with the unfriendly ghost secret box. I definitely remember having the Great Snail Race and my Pretty Seahorse and Idiot Box. It probably was that one, but I kind of feel like it was a VHS tape, but I don't actually know. Dude, I, I wanted Dutchman like so bad as a kid. Yeah, I wanted the game when I was a kid. It was it, it was just like, you know, I had Battle, I had Movie, I liked them both a lot, and just had another Spongebob adventure right here, and I don't have it. I was like, what the fuck? I never saw it in stores or anything, because I guess maybe in, in PAL land, the GameCube didn't do that well, so you didn't really see that many GameCube games. And as for PS2 Dutchman, obviously the company uh, got shut down. Because of that fucking game, version of the game, so... Yeah, no wonder I never saw it on shelves. Like, that stream I did the other day was... The first time I've played the game. Um... Wait a minute. I just realized something. It is Tuesday. Have I streamed three days in a row? Well, not three. I mean, with Dutchman, four. Have I streamed four days in a row? I was thinking just then. I kept saying for the whole stream that it was Tuesday. But I was starting to wonder, like, oh shit, is it actually Monday and nobody told me? Because I could not remember streaming Saturday, Sunday, Monday, 
and Tuesday. Like, I, I don't... What the fuck? I mean, I obviously, it was yesterday's stream. I thought that stream was the day after Dutchman. Because all I can remember talk. Oh, wait, no. Wait, no, no, no. I know what happened. I took Saturday off and I streamed Dutchman on Sunday. Uh, Sunday. That's what happened. So this is my third stream. Welcome. No, I'm going to stream tomorrow. I'm taking Thursday off. Because uh, we're taking my nan out for birthday, for a birthday, and by the time I get home, I'll be tired, so I might as well just take the day off. And at that point, I would have streamed like four days in a row. So it's kind of funny that like the first thing I did after taking a day off was playing fucking Dutchman. Like that—that that really was just not a good start because like that fatigued the hell out of me, but. What I'm gonna try and do until, and like today and Wednesday, I guess, is just get a golds, and then uh, Thursday will be a day off, and then Friday then would we'll be more focused on consistency, maybe. Yeah, collection shits. I have the first three seasons, and I think uh, season six on DVD. Um, it's pretty cool. I also have a couple like. Spazzy DVD ones, but I remember, like, some of them, like, skip. You know when a DVD just, like, skips? Like, it freezes for a minute, and it just, like, skips a scene or whatever? Like, yeah. I have some SpongeBob DVDs that do that. In particular, I think I have a DVD set. I, I say set. I have a DVD with, like, some Season 4 episodes. I didn't have them for a while. I so I g kept just gro and I got rid of my VHS tape. So I just kept. Then I just started growing up with like what was on the TV, which was like season five and six of SpongeBob. Which is why I hardly ever watch season four. I watched loads of season one to three. Loads of season one to three, and then. Then, uh, I got rid of my VHS tapes, and then they were airing, like, season 6 and 5. Of course, I remember watching some of them as a kid. Crusty Towers and, uh, Dunces and Dragons, for example. I would definitely recommend reclaiming them. They're probably not that expensive, although because of Spongebob, they might be- they might cost more than the average... ...biggie. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yeah. A lot of DVDs are cheap, luckily. Adventure. Although, I kind of regret- I sold, like... All of my Simpsons and Family Guy DVDs to CX for, like, no money. And, like, I had a good collection. I had Simpsons seasons, like, 1 to 7 or something. And then I had, like, season, like, 11 and 12, I think. And with Family Guy, I had seasons, like, 1 to, uh... Seasons 1 to, like, 9, and then I had, like, season 13, I think. The CX gives you, like, nothing, so I don't know why I bothered. Like, I, I mean, at that point in time, I was trying to clear a lot of room in the house. UK houses are very fucking small. I'm constantly... At the brink of running out of space. So I sold a shit ton of stuff in 2020 and 2021. And then my, my parents were like, you have too much stuff. And it's like, no, the house is too fucking small. It's like, it's like half the size of the fucking American house.
welcome. Yeah, I've never really played, I never really had any fighting games other than Melee. The only DVDs I still have is South Park Imagination Land. And Simpsons Treehouse of Horror DVD. I had like a, well it was my brother's discs, but he had like a season or two of South Park. I think like seasons like 9 and 10 or something. As a kid, probably shouldn't have been watching that. I remember there's a scene in the in the one with Carmen frees himself to get a Wii, where Mr. Garrison is just like really fucking homophobic for no reason, and then there's like one point where he like literally takes a shit and then like throws it at someone in the classroom in front of the kids. How's it going, Dingo? Hope your day is good. I would like the first 100 episodes, but... I mean, it's not something that's, like, priority, really. It's just, you know... One day I'll probably just lock it up and buy it, but I can't be bothered right now. The roof was so high, and all I was thinking was it could have been a huge second floor. Yeah. Sometimes, when I was younger, my American friends would, like, um, would turn on their webcams and it'd just be in a fucking huge room. And it's like, bro, that's the size of my fucking living room and that's your bedroom. And then they have like a big closet in the back and it's just like, bro. This attic, if, if you tore the chimney down, this attic would probably be the biggest room in the house. And it's not that even that big. Yeah, I said I, the only fighting game I played was Melee, and that was when I was a kid. I didn't have Melee anymore. Yeah, I want the first 100 episodes because it has that, um, it has, like, the bonus shit from sh Shanghai. Dire of a Wimpy Kid? Bro, I might still have mine, I'm not sure. I sold a lot of my DVDs, but I kept some because I felt like, alright, I'll watch them, like, one more time before I get rid of them, and then I just never watch them again, a lot of them. Thank God I kept Ratatouille. Ratatouille is actually really fucking good. And, um... Unfortunately, though, I have to keep Chicken Little. Because, basically... As a kid, I... I got, like, a bundle DVD thing, and, it, and it's a cobbled sleeve, and it comes with Ratatouille and Chicken Little. And I can't just have an incomplete set, so I have to keep Chicken Little around. Um, I, but I, I think I still have Dire of a Wimpy Kid. I don't remember how many of the DVDs I had, though. But I know I at least had the first one, so I hopefully still have it. I never had a Ratatouille game. I think there's a few of them. I was a bit violent as a kid. We had a TV remote where, like, there's a huge hole in it. And then I threw it in, like, some water, and it somehow still works, but... Well, we don't have it anymore. But basically, if you try to turn the TV on, it would literally take, like, 20-plus presses until it turns on, like, from the remote. It just doesn't work, like, 99% of the time. <laughs> However, I never actually tore any of my discs. You know... The one time a disc of mine broke, right? I ejected Mario Kart Wii from my Wii, but I didn't take the disc actually out, so it was half exposed. I went in the kitchen for 10 minutes, came back, and the fucking disc was in pieces, because my dog fucking chewed it up. He has never done that before or since. Like, that, there was literally no reason to do that. Like, imagine if you as a person were just like... Which is for absolutely no reason, you were just like... I'm gonna stuff loads of toilet paper in my toilet, and I'm gonna clog the toilet for literally no reason, because I just randomly feel like it this one time in my entire life and never again. Imagine if you did that, that's basically the equivalent of what my dog did. Just, it's just a thing that you've never thought to do before, you never do it again, and you just do it one time for no reason. 
Like, like, why would you do that? Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. I will show my mouse pad in a bit. Yeah, I mean, Rap Pro is cool. Oh, Lazy Town. I used to watch loads of fucking Lazy Town when I was a kid, but I never had any DVDs for it. Lazy Town was best. I miss, uh... I remember Robbie Rotten, and... Uh, what was his name? Stingy? I hated that guy. I hated Stingy, bro. Where's my mouse pad? Oh, there it is. There you go. I don't even I don't even know what she's what the hat is she's wearing. But um she's got uh big personalities, I guess you could say. Fun fact about the lore of this mouse pad. I I was supposed to be a, a Christmas gift for my brother as a joke. But he didn't want it, because he said that the surface room was too small to move his hand around on. Like, this was- oh, the mouse, this was- this was just not enough room. So, then he just let me keep it. And then I never used it, because I had an ass mouse pad. And then I fixed my hand pain, and then I didn't want to use a mouse pad anymore, so I got rid of that one. And now I still have this one to show on stream, because it's funny. So I never actually used it. But yeah, she has, like, really fat milkers. Uh Yay. Good. The smile. The laugh. I never had uh that South Park game because the first time I ever learned about it was from Cat Icarus and he said the game is bad, so I was like, okay, I guess the game's bad. You wanna know how big my mouse pad is now, or my mouse mat rather? It really needs a cleaning, but um, yeah. It this this is the mat this is the mat that I use. Dude, the thing is, right? I had to get a keyboard with no number pads because otherwise it was I just didn't have like any room. And, and that's the problem, right? I I just don't have a lot of room, so my mouse sensitivity sucks. So my idea was to move my monitor, my big monitor, over to where I, you know, to where this monitor is currently that I'm looking at for movie, my movie monitor. But then, then it's too big next to the CRT, which is why I was trying to re replace the CRT with that monitor behind me. But the monitor has a frame of delay. So I fucking lose no matter what I do, bro. The CRT has to go that side of the room, it just won't work the other side. So I need something with no delay, but there's nothing that has, like, composite input and has no frames of delay and isn't a fat-ass CRT. There's just nothing. Welcome. I used to have a big one, but my keyboard used to just go over it, so I effectively, at the end of it, had, like, no room. I used to- I used to have, like, a Razer keyboard, a Razer mouse, and a Razer mouse pad- mouse pad thing. I was, like, pretty into Razer, but Razer products are fucking terrible. I've had three Razer mice, and they've all done the exact same thing. The grips start coming off, and you have to, like, sellotape them back on. And then after that, they start double-clicking, and then triple-clicking, and one time I even got a quadruple-click. It makes it practically impossible to play fucking certain games. Like, you- sometimes you hold down the the left-click to, like, mine some- a block in Minecraft, and then it just stops. Like, it just stops mining and just starts again because it thinks you fucking clicked. Three mice did that. Three of them. And then, with my keyboard, it started, like, double-pressing enter and spacebar, and so- okay, and yes, it is true that I used to slam my keyboard, like, all the fucking time. However, I've slammed this keyboard a couple times, and it doesn't do that.
That's kind of cool. That has more like novelty to it. Rick and Morty reference. I've heard that Razer mics and headphones aren't good either, but I haven't tested them. Forty-eight quid. Damn, you have something valuable on your on your hands. You're referring to my dog. When I was younger, I thought that like all of the data, all the save game data, was like on my disc. So I thought I lost everything, and I was really upset. But I bought a brand new copy for like 15 quid, and I've had that one ever since. So unfortunately, I, I still had it when I was a kid, like that copy, but I don't have my first childhood Mario Kart Wii copy, which really sucks. Cat fur. God, I had a hoodie that I loved, but my cat sat on it, and I couldn't get the fur off. My school was, like, really strict on the no hoodie, so I could, like, hardly ever wear it, so I got kind of fed up and just put on the bed, and then my cat sat on it. Even in year 12, like, in 13, they were kind of strict on it, but... If you wait until the last few months of school, they stop enforcing shit like that. And also, when I just went out for lunch, I would just wear my hoodie. Very fucking stupid thing as well, because, like, like in the winter, like, what, you, what, what am I gonna do to be fucking cold? Like, the whole time? Like, what do you want me from me, bro? Yeah. My cats like to sleep on my clothes, but luckily... My cats also like sleeping on the bed, beds, uh, and I usually don't leave my clothes on the bed anymore, so it usually works out. I fucking hate when my black cat Brian sits on my black, like, hoodie or whatever on the floor, though. I remember one time I had to make note of myself that he was sleeping there, and then I still somehow forgot and stood on him, like, five minutes later. Uh, it's- it's gonna be one of those days, bro. I, I've gotten this, like, one out of, like, five or six times so far. Yeah, cats apparently know, though, when you're sorry, if you, like, quickly go to, like, this sort of level and then stop petting them and stuff. Like, they'll know that you're sorry. Dude, one time, my cat's skull probably nearly got fucking crushed because- nearly. Because she was sleeping in a box under a shelf, and on the shelf were, like, these weights. You know... There were, you know, one kilogram to four kilogram weights on there. And I think the three kilogram weights fell in the box, like, right next to her, but didn't actually go on her, which is really lucky. But, like, they could have easily just fucking smashed her skull in or something. She was, like, really fragile and old, so that would have, like, definitely killed her, I think. I say, I say definitely, and then I say I think, but no, that probably would have killed her. However, in my defense, it wasn't me who dropped the f it wasn't me who dropped the weight. It was Jam. So, hashtag not my fault. 
Those were my weights, and they were on the shelf, but why was my cat in the box in the first place? And Jam was moving the weights, so these nuts. Sometimes when I practice this trick, I turn the music off because I just don't like to- I sometimes don't like to hear the music reset like every single time. Like, every time you, you get a successful attempt there, you just hear the banjo start going off, and then you have to immediately reset. It'd be kind of nice to just, like, hear it keep going. In SM64, with, like, a practice mod, you can select no music, music that's continuous, or music that restarts, like, at the beginning. Like, you can pick. It's pretty cool. Yeah. My cat was a rescue cat. I think she lived until, like, 13 or 14. And then she passed peacefully in 2020. It's a good thing, though, that we didn't get my dog while we had her, because she would have fucking hated my dog. Welcome. And now we have another cat as well. Even my other cats are getting old, though. Um, they're like ten and a half. Brian and Stewia. Lenny is like twelve and a half. And then Bella is like two and a half. I've I just realized that all we always get pets in like the autumn or winter every time. Like it's always like late into a year. It's a short slide from manager to well, not manager. This is a job for a manager. Sorry to hear that, but yeah, in a situation like that, like, you just gotta let them go, you know? Hello, Cobra. Hope you, uh, doing good today. Thank you for the good luck. How's your day been? Yeah. If there's basically nothing you could have done, then the best thing to do is to just, you know, end it. Luckily, that hasn't happened to me except for once. It was a situation where I was too young to know that the cat died, so I got told it ran away, but... I, I think what happened, I think, like, liquid was leaking from, like, the radiator, I think it was, and the cat drank it, and apparently that's, like, hypotoxic. So there's just no say. I'm pretty sure there's no saving the cat of that, but it, it's, the explanation was something like that. And they only got told, like, I don't know, like, six, seven years ago or something. Um... So I, I literally thought the cat ran away. For, like, a while. His name was, uh, Spike. He was a black cat. Oh, and then we had another cat, but he actually ran away. I think he had, like, con like tooth pain or something, and we couldn't do anything about it, if I remember correctly, for some reason. We couldn't do anything about it. And then I think he actually ran away, and by now, he would be so old that he would definitely not be alive, so... Yeah, so he is just basically guaranteed dead. Although he might have been as soon as he ran away, who knows? I don't know. Glad your day's been good. Um, runs have been treating me not good. I'm trying to take a more laid-back approach today and tomorrow. Because I have a time, a new time save that I can implement, and I kind of just want to continue bad runs uh, just to get more golds. I want to make my summer best, like, really fast, and then, like, go, like, play more consistent after that, like, dial it back a bit, and go for proper world record attempts, I'm thinking, because then I get to finish more runs, and I, I re- Basically, look at my summer best, it's very close to 59, I want to up- when- I want to upload a segmented gold run. 
And I wanted to say 59-59 because that looked really good in the thumbnail. So, however, this time save, if implemented, if it's done perfectly, I can gold by like four and a half seconds. And I have a gold from a later segment that I really want to gold. Because not only is the gold bad, but, um... Basically, I have uh, a channel reward to where Cat is. It was like a funny thing. I asked people to give me money, and then I'd add that, and then they gave me money, so I added it. Yeah, so my PB was a god run, and I didn't get to upload it to YouTube because it was wearing Cat ears the entire time, and I just really did not want to upload that publicly to YouTube. But the problem is, is that my gold... In, in Plank is from in Plank Topolis is still my gold, even though it's bad. I can improve it by like a second and a half, but I just I just can't do it for some reason. Every time I get there, I just fuck it up. So I really, really, really want to beat it before it's too late. So I'm trying to continue more like bad runs. And then as soon as it says 59-59, I guess uh, the video can stop being made. It, won't, it probably won't take that long. Yeah, 59-59. It'll, it'll look so cool, and it'll be like, wow, if you play theoretically perfect, you can barely get sub-1. That's so cool. You know? Well, I was thinking of putting cat eating spaghetti over the... Over the thumbnail. Or, I mean, over my cam. Because that's what I use when I do offline runs. I was thinking of putting cat eating spaghetti. But then, if it was the only run to have cat eating spaghetti... I don't know, I just look kind of weird. All the other ones have cam. I need to start saving my money soon. When I have pretty much everything I want, I'll start saving. Yeah, the thing is, it's always it's so easy to just always want the next thing. You know what I mean? I want a Steam Deck. But it's really expensive. My laptop is, like, terrible. So I was hoping for my laptop to die so I could buy a Steam Deck. Like, because then at that point, I might as well just not buy an another laptop. I might as well buy a Steam Deck, but... Because then I could justify a few hundred pound anyway, and then if I just spend a couple hundred more, I can get a Steam Deck, so it's a, it's a lot more warranted. But then I realized, A, I hardly ever play games off of, like, the computer. Like, handheld. And B, the limiting thing... I only ever use my laptop on vacations. And the actual limiting thing on vacations is how fucking terrible the Wi-Fi is, as opposed to the... Like, the laptop's bad, but the Wi-Fi is always way worse... So, it, the laptop's kind of a non-issue for the most part. It can open Discord and a couple Chrome tabs. Yeah, it can only play videos at, like, 360p. But the Wi-Fi is always so bad that you can't even play them at 240p, so it doesn't really even matter. I also had a terrible mouse the last... My trackpad doesn't work, and one of the USB ports doesn't work. Basically, the laptop has no official way of opening it, so we have to pry it open to get an SSD installed in it. But I guess in the process, we accidentally disconnected the fucking trackpad in a, in a USB port. So w whenever I use it now, I have to I have to plug in like a USB uh, dongle thing. Like a USB hub. Um, and then my mouse has to go into it, and then my headphones go in the other one, and... And then sometimes I need to use a USB stick. It's so annoying, like, I, because I always have to find my mouse, it's just really annoying. Yeah, but I, repl I replaced the hard drive in it with, like, a 200-something gig SSD. And, like, it really made a massive difference. It went from taking, like, over a minute to boot up to taking, like, 30 seconds. And everything just opens, like, so much quicker. Like, bef I couldn't even use Chrome before. I just could not use Chrome. But now I get to use Chrome. So that's cool. 
Although I sometimes still use Firefox because it's lighter than Chrome, but I like to use Chrome if possible. It's the uh, the browser I'm used to using. Steam Deck really is better than the Switch. I heard people talking about before about how they're not competitors, but they really are like accidental competitors because the Switch emulator is pretty good and the Steam Deck can use it. Tears of the Kingdom leaked, like, a couple days ago, and people are playing it on their fucking Steam Decks. Like, what does that tell you? I can't wait for the for Nintendo to make another console, because then I can finally justify modding my fucking Switch. But even then, a Steam Deck would just be a lot better. If my Switch breaks, I might honestly just consider getting a Steam Deck, but I'm not totally sure on that. Because, you know, I save data, and, you know, it's it's my, it's my Switch. I, I love my Switch, but I basically only love it because of, like, Odyssey and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and, like, a couple other games. It's just for its exclusives, but the Steam Deck can play them, too. So, some of them, anyway. I don't think you can play all of them. Yeah, the Steam Deck's really good. It's fucking crazy how powerful it is. It comes pre-installed with Linux, but you can literally- you can install Windows on it, like it's your machine, you can do whatever the fuck you want with it. It has a USB-C connector thingy, so you can connect it to a monitor or a TV if you really want to. Including keyboard and mouse and other things. Like, it's surprise- like, it, dude. It, it is basically just a computer, like, it, like, but handheld. It's- it's really powerful for its price. The only thing is that they're pretty fucking bulky, and the battery life is terrible, and the storage is also bad. But, like, it's kind of to be expected. You're not going to play, like, the latest AAA games on it. It won't be able to handle that, so the storage not being great isn't surprising, and also the battery being bad is also not surprising at all. But yeah, because you can use it like a PC, that's why I was thinking of replacing my laptop. Because while less convenient, I can plug it into a TV or a monitor or something. So on vacation, I could even bring like a small monitor because I do have I do have like small monitors. The game fucked me just then. It lagged for no reason. So I, I had too much height and I jumped over the fogger. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Even though it would be more convenient to take a laptop, I could literally, like, take a Steam Deck and, like, a monitor. And even then, the Steam Deck has, like, a really good touchscreen and shit. But if all I wanted to do was, like, write documents, like, you... And then play some good games, like, you know, I could use my Steam Deck if I really wanted to. Jam has a Steam Deck, and I... It really was interesting. But I'm just- I spent too much money at the time, so I didn't want to buy one, and I spent too much money again, so I didn't want to buy one. And now I'm just in a position where I just don't really feel like it. Yeah. They- um, there's gonna be more Steam Decks in future, definitely, because the Steam Decks are pretty successful. There's going to be more Steam Decks in future, more revisions. They'll probably focus more on, like, battery life or something, I would imagine. Yeah, I have a blue Prime Energy drink. I, I went from never seeing them before to seeing, like, four or five flavors of the shop. So I bought two of each flavor, one to try on stream, and then one to just, like, chill. I say chill, but it has caffeine in it. I don't even know what a lot of caffeine is, because I don't, like, I don't purposely intake caffeine. I don't, like, I'm not like, damn, I really need a buzz right now. I, I need to eat, drink something with a lot of caffeine. So I just never really thought about it. But the drinks have 140 milligrams of caffeine. I have no idea if that's a lot. Absolutely no idea. I 
I don't- well, coffee tastes bad, and also, again, I don't drink things to get a buzz off of them. I don't drink monsters because they have caffeine in them. I wish they didn't have caffeine in them. I would drink them, like, twice as often if they didn't have caffeine in them. That's cool. I like- this was my first ever console game, so I care about the game a lot. It's a good thing to cut away from those drinks, for sure. But... Hold on. Caffeine is, like, so weirdly normalized, though. There are plenty of adults who drink it, like, uh, that I drink, like, coffee, for example, like, twice a day. And it just, it just seems a bit much. I, th I think it's probably relied on too much. I just want to drink monsters because they taste good, you know? Um... Yeah, I had movie on PS2, and then I got Battle, and I also had that on PS2. And then I got them both on Xbox for speedrunning purposes much later on. And, like, the loads, like, blew me away with how fast they were. Um, did I ever drink that Calypso? No. Um, I still want to drink it on stream at some point. But the thing is, is that it's a lot to drink, so I probably will just save it for a special day. Once a day? I drink energy drinks maybe once every, like, three weeks or two weeks. Which I think is good, considering, like, I don't really... I don't know. I, I don't... I don't think that's that bad, really. Some people drink, like, an energy drink, like, every day or two a day, so I feel like, you know... How's it going, Ellie? Hope you were doing good. Thank you for the good luck. Well, the thing is that being reliant on anything... ...is just bad. Like, if you need it to function, that, that, that's kind of wiring your brain in a negative way. And I know you could say that about other things, probably like phones and shit, but like... And with caffeine as well, like, if you drink too much of it, you can really get fucking proper buzzed off of it. Like, increase heart rate and shit. Make you agitated. I heard before that it's, like, the most cons- If you consider caffeine a drug, I think it's, like, the most consumed drug, like, in the world, which is pretty nuts. I saw knockoff Prime before. I can't remember what it was called, but I was, like, it, it, they were selling it for, like, a quid, and I was like, dude, I bet this sucks, I'm not drinking it. My brain is wired to require purple streams. That See, that's a good thing. <laughs> Um, very good for your brain, indeed. Yeah, my dad tried to give me shit before for drinking energy drinks, because he's like, oh, you always get feel really shitty afterwards, and at the time, I hadn't felt shitty off of an energy drink in literally, like, half a year, so I was like, 
no. Like, that hasn't happened in ages. Like, oh, yes, it has. And it's like, no, like, I would know. I drank the fucking thing. Like, I've criticized the alcohol consumption before, not because they're alcoholics, but because they're, they used to bitch about the shopping bill being so expensive, like, every single time, until I pointed out to them that, like, a third of the bill is alcohol, and then they just never said anything about it again. And, like, I do admit that a monster's gonna be worse than a thingy of alcohol, but I also only have a monster once every few weeks. So overall, it kind of works out to be probably a, a, the al their alcohol consumption to be worse than my energy drink consumption, or like roughly the same. Also, I do not like um, my parents don't smoke. I don't like Red Bull. I forgot to mention that earlier. I've tried it, and I've tried a bunch of their flavors. I just don't really like any of them. The thing, the re one of the reasons why I still drink uh, energy drinks, even though I sometimes do get buzzed off of them, is because I get buzzed off them so rarely that it feels like worth it to keep doing it. I feel like shit after drinking them maybe once every like seven drinks or something. So that's so rare that I just, you know, just try to ignore it. Which is why I also only drink them off stream, because imagine if I was like fucked up like two hours into a stream. You know what I mean? Sorry to hear that. Um, I don't drink, like, fizzy water because, like, it just tastes bad to me. What I care about with, like, carbonated drinks, like, the carbonation is a little bit of it, but it's mostly just, like, the taste of the drinks themselves and not really the carbonation, so... However, I only drink, uh carbonated drinks like once or twice a week any and one and of those like two times a week that i do one of them is usually like pepsi max or at least there's no like sugar in it also my mum and, and even then because my mum like loves pepsi max she's been buying caffeine free pepsi max so if I cared about caffeine consumption there, I mean, it's gone now. <laughs> but I have a big collection of drinks to drink, uh, American drinks and other some other stuff. I have like two Arizona iced teas I need to drink. Although I don't really care for Arizonas, they're pretty mid, but I already have them, I gotta drink them. Uh, yeah, it would... All it would really do is just make the run slower. We... we enter, um... Three sponge balls. And we use the pad for, like, one of them. One of them, we just save a bit of walking. So that we lose like two seconds, and then SCDA, we need to warp there twice, so that would lose a lot of time. So it, it, all it would do is just make the run slower by like. My estimate is like 15 seconds, maybe. Dude, Arizona's really are mid. They're super weak. They, they have like a ridiculous amount of sugar, and yet like they're really, really weak. I've had like three Arizonas in a real week. They, they're literally weaker than Tesco flavored water that I can get for like 50p. And get more, like, m uh, milliliters out of it. Oh, sorry, fluid ounces. Get more fluid ounces out of it. Seriously now, 
they do not warrant having 110% of your daily recommended sugar in the entire can. With how weak they are, they do not warrant that. American stuff is weak in general, unless they just pump, like, loads of sugar into it. Like, I criticize the UK a lot, but, like, at least they, like, they try to make the food taste good. In America, it's always just like, alright, let's just put more sugar in it. Dude, I made Kool-Aid, and you're supposed to use, like, four thingies of water. And I used three, and mixed the powder and the sugar, and it was still weak. Even even though I, I, I skipped a thing of water, like, half a pint of water... And it still tasted weak. It just tasted like slightly better squash. I'm not reset in this run. I'm a good boy. What annoys me the most is that Arizona's a 99 cents. Actually infuriates me. You would never find a drink in the UK that is 750 mils, has loads of sugar in it, and is... Well, that'd be like ADP or something, but you would never ever see that. If they sold those in the UK, they would bare minimum be like £1.50, which is like... Which is like $1.90. But instead, we get them imported, and then I eat, they cost like three quid, or like two pounds something. Like, yeah, like, no, it's like three quid. No, but but that's what I'm complaining about. It's unfair and frustrating how cheap they are, because you'll never find a drink in the UK that's that fucking cheap with that much sugar in it. And again, even if they did some in the UK, they would literally at least be like a pound fifty. Dude, ev everything costs more in the UK, but buy like any product ever on Amazon, and the UK one will like literally always be more expensive. I kept looking up like top five, top ten, like best key budget keyboard videos, because I just wanted to, I needed another keyboard. And uh, out of like 30, 40 fucking listings, it was like one listing where the UK keyboard was the same price or cheap. it was cheaper. So, there was only one UK keyboard listing that wasn't more expensive. And it would- This game is so fucking unfair. Jesus Christ, man. <sighs> fucking hell. That happened for the first time in my life, like, a week ago, and now it just- Happened again. What was I saying? I don't. I don't remember. There's a lot of drinks in the UK. Like all the big brands are here. It's just that everything's more expensive here. Oh yeah, I remember what I was talking about now. The only time, the only reason why the keyboard was, like, cheaper was because the American one wasn't on sale while the UK one was, and that was literally the only reason. If you took its normal retail price, it would have been more expensive. Every, just every single thing ever is more expensive here. I could beat it, but it wouldn't be enjoyable at all. Mountain Dew in particular is, like, stupid expensive here. They cut the sugar content from US to UK one by, like, more than half. And yet, the Mountain Dew is still more expensive. Two seconds? Well, if I had infinite time, then yeah, but... In one stream, probably not. I don't think I'd be able to do two second delay. Driving, sliding and driving levels would become practically fucking impossible. In a week? Yeah, I could probably do that in a week.
No, five seconds would be, like, impossible no matter how long you have, I think. The sliding and driving levels would just be too much at that point. Even with Mindy Skip, you still gotta do a few. There are, like, some big gaps in some levels where you just don't... have any, um... Well, Mindy Skip... The inputs for Mindy Skip are quite basic. You can just, like, bullshit your way through it. Come out, come out, wherever you are. The inputs are super, super easy. I, d I do, um, I do have a method of making it faster that saves, like, three seconds, but I could just not do it, and then the inputs are, like, extremely free. Welcome back. Uh, it's hard to say because we have, like, really bad inflation right now, but... And it's just gonna be different from shop to shop. But, um, a two-liter bottle of Pepsi now, Pepsi Ma uh, well, Pepsi Max, because Pepsi would be- I don't- I, I don't think two-liter bottles of Pepsi exist anymore. I don't think we sell huge bottles of, like, sugary drinks anymore, I'm pretty sure we just do sugar-free ones. Um... Pepsi Max? Two-liter bottle of Pepsi Max costs, like... God, how much does it cost? Maybe like two pound twenty-five or something. Yeah, now when it comes to the really sugary ones like Mountain Dew and Coke and Pepsi, I'm pretty sure we just don't sell really big bottles of those anymore. I never even buy, like, big bottles of Pepsi or anything because I'm just not going to be able to drink it all on my own before it, like, goes off. I have no idea what cans. Well, cans are really expensive. They're, like, 80p each or something. But that's why you buy bulk. I, I don't know how much cans cost. Also, one small thing to consider is that the U uh, UK cans are slightly smaller than the US cans. Because the the US, um, they really like fluid ounces, so they have to round it up to the next fluid ounce. So every can has 20, 25 more milliliters for some reason. Although, you know what's really weird? Me and Jam were able... Hold on. Me and Jam were able to nab a bottle of Dr. Pepper, like a two-liter bottle of Dr. Pepper recently for like a pound 25 or something. That was really weird, because that shop that we went into is known for just being a ripoff. Like, everything in there is just really expensive because it's a corner shop. And yet, for some reason, they were selling that for really cheap. That was pretty good. Back in my day, though, they used to sell big can- uh, big bottles of, like, Pepsi and shit for, like, a pound is fucking great. Back in my day, brev. McDonald's everything is good. well, fast food anything is gonna be bigger in the US and cheaper, yeah. We, uh, we have something called sugar tax, and it- it fucked us, like, really bad. And they didn't even revert it. The point of the sugar tax was to force companies to, like, find ways to, like, reduce sugar in their products. But all it did was either make them reduce portion, like, the size of their product or increase the price. That's all they- it's all they made them do. So it basically forced a little extra inflation on us for no fucking reason because I love the government so fucking much. I gotta fucking get the UK. Nothing- oh god, if- yeah. 
UK be like, I have an idea and it's just never a good idea. No matter what the idea is, it's always bad. It just never works out. I don't know. I don't buy the Colnados my parents do. Ouch. I mean, obviously the yeah. I mean, obviously the companies had the option to just not be assholes, but at the same time, they were they were like. Companies freak out when they just lose, like, a little bit of money. And if the government just wasn't cringe... I don't, how, there's no way the obesity problem is nearly as bad as they say it is in the UK. There's no fucking way. Our portion sizes are small. Everything that we have is just healthier than in the US. There, there is, and is more expensive. There is no fucking way that our obesity problems are as bad as they say. There's no way. I think they're just fucking lying. Because there's no way they could be that bad. How, how can you afford to be fat in this fucking economy? That's what I say, bro. The price of chips is like almost doubled in the past like few years as well. Quite sad. Yeah, exactly. They they say like 40 or 50% of people are, are like morbidly obese and then you go outside and you walk past like 15 people and like maybe at most like three of them are fat. That's that's not that is not 40%. Like I'm sorry, that's not 40. There's no fucking way they're not lying to some extent. I think the government just wanted to like tax just wanted more money so they just tax the companies more. I genuinely think that's probably what happened. Whoa. That was fast. Too bad I didn't get the two frame. Clicks, you really gotta fix your sleep schedule. We can hardly talk because I get ready for stream and then I stream and then you go to sleep and then I'm done with stream but then you're asleep. Anyway, thank you for the good luck though. I appreciate it. Yeah, 8 p.m. Bro, that's bedtime when I'm like two. 25%? Even that sounds wrong, though. One in four? I just don't see that. I will have you know that I'm not fat, and I'm working on losing some weight. The way that I'm going to do that, two ways. A, stop eating like an hour before I go to sleep, and B, just eat less. Those are my two tactics, and they're bound to fucking work, so, yeah. That's what I did before, and I lost loads of weight, so it'll work again. Seven. Sometimes I just can't sleep for an extra, like, hour or two, yeah. 
apparently, um, if you don't look at your phone for the last, like, half an hour before you go to bed, like, it helps, like, so much with going to sleep. But then I have to not use my phone, and you know what I'd rather do than not look at screens for half an hour? Die. So, no, I don't think I'm doing that, actually. Thank you, uh, whoever, re doctors or whoever recommends that to me. I don't think anybody understands how much I'd, I'd want to die if I just didn't look at screens for like 30 minutes and I had no one to talk to, just sitting in my bed for 30 minutes doing fuck all. I can't do that, dude. I cannot do that. What am I gonna do, read a fucking book? Do I look gay to you? Like, what, what form of entertainment is the a fucking... that time of night? With no screens. Rice cake. I never had a rice cake, but I think about that Family Guy joke where Peter eats a rice cake and you just fucking, like, <laughs> it's like choking and shit. I was really fat when I was younger, and then I got really skinny, but I still thought I wasn't that skinny, so I was, yeah. Ah, oh, you fucking cocksucker. I fucked that up because, um... Normally, I do, uh, Cirque to Spongebob, but that time I did Spongebob to Cirque, but then my muscle memory took over. I can't even remember how much I weigh in stone. I think it's like 10, like... Like, 1010 or something. Ben 10 looking ass. Um, I wasn't the fat kid, but I was pretty fat. I wasn't morbidly obese, but I was pretty fat. And then I started losing weight, and then I stopped caring again, and then I started losing weight again. Dude, okay. So me and this other really fat guy who's fatter than me by a lot, but... He, he was definitely, like, obese as fuck. Um, we were gonna, like, lose weight. The, the school had, like, a gym room that you could go into. We were, we were starting to eat healthy and stuff, but then he gave it- he gave up like two days in, so I said, fuck it, I'll give up too. And then I just decided to eat less, and then- then I started losing weight. Because my metabolism was like, holy shit, bro. Don't mind if I do. And I went from pretty overweight to pretty underweight in the span of like a year and a bit. Speedrunning also helped because, uh... Speedrunning occupied me and made it harder to like go and grab snacks and shit. Some people are just really skinny, dude. Like, I knew somebody who brought, like, a literal entire box of cereal to school before and he ate the entire thing. He was so skinny. He was so fucking skinny. Actual bag of bones. And, oh yeah, and then my metabolism died in, like, 2019, and now I actually get punished for eating shit. Dude, one time in 2021, I lost like 10 pounds, it's fucking great, but... Yeah. You know one thing that helps a lot? I know I already said it, but not eating at night, right? I go to sleep at like 4, so it's quite possible for me to get hungry again. But if you just wait an extra hour or two, then go to sleep. When I wake up in the morning, I'm usually not very hungry for the first few hours. The only thing... Is that I struggle to like... Because I, I have to eat my my dinner early. That's the problem. I have to eat my dinner at like three. And I don't want to eat it at three. I want to eat it at like fucking six or seven so I could eat even less. But I I have to eat early when I don't even want to because, I, because of my stream. And because I wake up too late like for to build up a lot of hours, like rack them up. Well, I usually sleep at like 4 to 5 a.m. I, I don't know what you mean by that question, though. Big cycler. Does that mean you have like thick mommy thighs? 
Well, I mean, that's the time that I sleep because of Americans. If Americans didn't exist, I wouldn't sleep at that time. Blame the Americans. But, like, if I go to sleep at, like, 1, you know what's gonna happen? First of all, I'm gonna hardly be able to talk to my friends. And then second, I'm going to wake up really early, and I will be tired as fuck right now. Right now, I would be awake for about as long as if my stream... Like, as if it was, like, 9 or 10 o'clock. Like, I'd be tired. And yet, I still have hours left to go. So to stream for these times, I kind of have to, like, not be awake for that long before doing the streams. Back in the day, I used to stream at, like, 8.30pm, but I haven't done that in a long time. It's, fl it's changed a lot, but now it's 4, so I can get in more hours. One time, I even streamed at, like, 3.30 or something. Before, before is, like, the earliest I can, like, reasonably get away with. But I was thinking of streaming at 5, but it does fuck some people over. I have, like, a couple Australians that watch me. Yeah, when I wake up, there's, like, no... F like, being awake at normal time... I In 2021, I was waking up at, like, fucking... I was waking up at, like... 10 a.m. or, like, 10.30. And you know what I realized waking up at times like that in the UK? No one's online. Nobody's streaming. Like, there's there's no... Nobody... No YouTubers have uploaded content. Like, there's nothing to do. There, there is just nothing to do. The whole fucking internet, the whole world revolves around fucking American time zones. It's so goddamn annoying. That's why I go to sleep at, like, 4 to 5 a.m., And okay, could I get away with sleeping like an hour earlier? Honestly, I probably could. I probably could. But then, I'd be awake for an hour longer, which would make me more tired for my streams, so I can't fucking win. I fucking hate being awake at eight. The chickens are really loud outside, and, like, you know, parcels arrive, and my dogs bark, and it's just, like, you know. That's not a me issue. A lot of people in the speedrunning community are from America, including a lot of people from the SpongeBob community. Especially back when it was super small. I was, like, one of the only Brits in the entire community. I was one of the only non-Americans in the entire community in 2016. It was, like, two other British people, and, like, one of them didn't talk to me, and, the, and I talked to the other guy. And he was cool. I liked him, but... Yeah, I mean... It's just one guy. If I could just teleport to America, house already paid for, just live in a decent state. Just teleport there with all my shit there. Yeah, I would, but not quite that simple. Hey, so I heard you're British too. Not a quality. Alley's too expensive. Go to buy a Happy Meal is like $10. <laughs> Uh, n no chance am I going to fucking Ohio. Or Florida, for the record. Florida fucking sucks. It looks like a good place to go on vacation, though. I don't want to live there, though. Florida twice a year be like, um, hurricane warning. And also, like, it's, e it's either raining a lot or it's, like, really fucking hot for no reason, brev. Also, yeah, like, Florida's unhinged. Like, there's so many Florida men. But you type in Florida man, and then you just find, like, loads of fucking things about Florida men doing some shit. Colorado would be, like, South Park. Is Colorado good? Die. Uh.
Those gems were terrible. I already did. What are you gonna do about it? Bunny Hop Simulator. I'll have you know that those gems are hard as fuck. The only thing harder than those jumps is me. Dude, those jumps were so slow, it would have been faster to go around. Yeah, I lost like two seconds over just not doing it. You play Lucio. Thembrained Overwatch players try not to be support challenge. Not to play support challenge. White women try not to play mercy. <laughs> Actually true. Ah fuck, did I get my ass rammed? We'll see now. Yeah, I know, but I just I thought it'd be funny to say white women trying to be mercy. Mercy's so white. Yeah, I, I haven't- I've still just stuck to Roadhog and Junkrat, so they were just like, Oh, fuck, Purple Foundation plays only these two characters. Quick, we need to nerf them. Because he plays them. Playing Roadhog- Roadhog fucking sucks now. Junkrat still can function, but it's harder to make shit work. I think Junkrat's issue is that he's, like, stupidly inconsistent. There are games where he just absolutely dominates and games where he just can't do shit. But like, people just can't stand whenever he succeeds because the way in which he succeeds is frustrating. So they- so now he's just nerfed into a position where he just m less commonly gets dubs. He's just fucking terrible. Like, consistently terrible. Yeah, no, I, yeah. Now that I think about it, yeah. They always have the, the Simpsons movie. I, what's really annoying about Junkrat is that if there's, like, a Zarya, a, a, a Mercy, and a Farah on the other team, he, Junkrat is basically useless. He's, he's not doing shit, bro. Oh, and then Genji can, like, deflect his fucking minds. Ugh. Those four are just so annoying. So Junkrat kind of got pseudo-buffed when Genji got nerfed, but it just isn't enough. If it's map-breaking you like, there's a big thing coming up in the split. This level is like the most broken one in the game for just getting out of bounds. There's just no Hans triggers out of bounds, so it's just. Yeah.
I'm trying to focus now because I've been dying to get a gold here for a while. And I don't even know if this is enough high, but if it is, I need to clutch it out. I think it's enough high. And there goes the gold. I will never gold this, I swear. Hello, Rod. How's it going? Hope your day is going good. Yeah, we called the trick Sponge Glide because, like, we have nothing else better to call it. <laughs> Saves a lot. The thing is with that trick, though, is that if you don't get enough height, you drown in the lava and lose over a minute. And if you do 10 wall jumps, then it's pretty hard to not have enough height. But I go for 8 because my IQ is like 15, so... And my gold has 8 anyway, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to beat my gold. Yeah, the trick I did just then was called Monumental Bash. You just go onto the statue and just guitar him three times, but I missed the first one. Because unupgraded guitar's hitbox is, like, tiny, so, like, it's really hard to actually guitar him, like, first try. The whole segment's just really hard, honestly. But it's super fast, it's really cool, like, to actually see when it's, like, performed properly. What I also really like is that even though you go out of bounds in both plank segments, like, you go out of bounds in completely different ways. And, um, you know, there's, there's technically more action going on than the first split, but I just really like the sim- Kind of the half simplicity of the second split, like, it's, it's, it's just straightforward- like, you know, point A to point B thing, because you only get one token, but, like, we just go about it in, like, a pretty interesting way. I think it's cool. Going to Berlin early tomorrow morning, so just chilling for a wee bit before going to bed early. That is fair. Sounds like you've got an adventure awaiting you. Yeah, I'm doing alright, thank you. I'm doing the Chris token animation skip now, although I haven't called it with it yet. Um, I'm just trying to, like, just shed out some runs, basically, to try and lower the summer best to 59. It's existed since 2021, but there was no practice mod for it. Like, it's horrible to practice without a practice mod. Although, I've only tried it twice so far on the stream, and I'm, I haven't gotten it. Um, which, t like, the only- one of the reasons why I never bothered to, like, try and learn it is because I thought it saved two and a half seconds. Uh, it saves four. <laughs> And you can actually get a ledge grab skip, so you can actually save 5.5. Although, that's really hard. Yeah. My gold uh, has, like, some other thing that I haven't gotten in a while. So, if I get the ledge grab skip, I'll actually only gold by 4 seconds instead of 5.5. But that's, that's still obviously a lot. And even if I don't get the ledge grab skip, I can still gold by two and a half seconds. And then I can gold monumental by like over a second, and then I can gold knucklehead by like 0.8 or something. But knucklehead's been mean to me recently. <laughs> It's just really hard, especially with, like, trying to do Mindy Skip fast. See the mist, mist gold. Yeah, if it's, like, perfect, then... Yeah, it could. Um, but I want a gold monumental before that happens, because I was, I was wearing cat ears during the gold, and I do not want that in the segmented run.
And the gold is bad anyway. I can improve it by like a second and a half, probably. And I don't like my knucklehead gold because it doesn't have middle door, so it makes it like look easy, I guess. There's no like the rest of it was amazing. I just didn't get good RNG. But I want the thumbnail to say 59.59. I don't want it to say 59.58. So we'll just see how it goes. I'm trying to gold monumental before I gold, like get a good golden Nalo man. Fuck you too, Lena. Um, the song is good. Uh, both both uh, songs in this level are good. The level's really hard casually, but if you just learn the tactic of bash the spitters, then phase three becomes pretty easy. Golden strategy. The in in the speed run, if anything, the the hardest phase is the first phase. Because uh, it's hard to, like, get back to Neptune and have him only shoot once, like, at the statue. With the fire cycle. So that's, like, the hardest part of the level, luckily, is at the beginning. And then it just gets easier from there. Although, I do kind of miss when people didn't use to kill the spitters in, in Phase 3 because it made it super intense. People used to go from, like, minus four minutes there to just losing their runs because it chokes so bad. But then we just learned the ways of bashing the spitters. Although I will say, in any percent, you can't bash the spitters because you never unlock bash. So their Neptune would be pretty intense. But yeah, as you can see, it's pretty easy once you get rid of the spitters. Because you can just time the laser thingies. Like, look, just... And then, another tip. This only works on phase three. But if you pan the camera down... Then you can just not get hit by lasers. However, it doesn't work if you stand, like, right where Neptune starts attacking. Like, you see that little circle over there? If I stood in it and pan the camera down, I'd still get hit, so you still need to be a little bit away from it. Uh-oh. That's another one or two for the books. Oh, that's another one today. Kill him! Kill him, you idiot! Idiot? Uh, no, no! Uh, idiot! <laughs> uh, that was nearly a 101 as well. Man. Like, what was the big time losses in this? Oh, yeah. And I actually mean this, um, I got bullshitted in Rock Slide because, like, I went off a ledge and the game gave me literally no Coyote frames. So if it went for that, I would've, because I lost, like, how much did I lose? Like, 25 seconds. So yeah, that would've been, like, 101, uh, 40, like, 7 or 6. In Bikini Bottom. And as the sun sets over the island paradise above the waves, we must stop and wonder how long until the sequel depends on the box office. Now go outside and get some sun. You look awful pale. Sometimes it is. Sometimes, like, it can also happen if you get springy legs on a token. I should probably practice- thank you for the GG by the way, Lena. I should probably practice the Chris thingy for like a minute or two, because I haven't gone it yet.
Then they can show it like what a successful attempt is supposed to look like with or without a ledge grab skip. Damn it. There you go, it's supposed to look like that. You can kind of like fall in the lava a slightly different times. If you fall in there too late, uh, you have to sit through the entire animation like while standing in lava. Um, but yeah, that one I had just then was kind of slow, but it was obviously fast enough and that's all I really care about. That can also happen like pretty frequently. It's just pretty fucking hard, honestly. And the thing that sucks about it is that there's two big steps to it. The first one is making Chris skip, like, harder and slower. And then the second one is obviously, like, actually getting the trick. So, if you keep fucking up the Chris skip part, then you won't even be able to practice this part. You won't even have the opportunity to practice it. And as you can see, the game is being pretty mean to me. I wasn't missing it this much, I feel like, in practice, but I haven't practiced it. Like, I haven't... I practiced it a few hours ago, to be fair. I think this is one of those tricks that's gonna take a while to build up. Hopefully, this stream should be my worst consistency with it. It shouldn't get any worse after this, it should only get better. Um, my thing is set to reset after a couple seconds, but you would have seen just then that I would have fallen in the lava without actually drowning, because it was super late. But yeah, you can see what I'm going for here. That can happen when you get stuck on the eyelash and then it just, uh, the eye, and it just turns into a regular Chris skip attempt, basically. I don't know why I didn't jump there. What's also a little concerning is I haven't gone the ledge grab skip a single time. By now, I generally would have gone it. But yeah, as you can tell, my consistency with it is not very high. But... It's also not, like, stupid low to the point of, of, like, it not being worth, like, trying. Usually, when you miss it, it's just from landing on top of the token. Which, that's very minimal time loss that I, I don't really care about very much. Like, yeah, that adds not being able, like, to make it a hot, even harder to get world record, but, it, like, there's bigger things to worry about at that point. Most tricks lose a lot of time for missing them, but, the, like, this one, there's several ways to miss a trick, and, like, the majority of them are not a lot. But the big ones are just fucking up Chris Skip, or landing in the lava without touching the token, those are the two huge ones. But I'm fully confident that this can be made complete, like consistent. There's already showing some semblance of consistency and I've only put two hours into it, so... And I'm getting it, like, a third of the time, or, like, a quarter of the time. And I've already bled through two attempts, so I'll probably get it soon. Welcome. Never be. 
here, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure, just another day in the life of a manager. I hope to get it like once a stream, but who even knows if I'll clutch the rest of it out then, or if it'll even be good. I might be in a situation where I do get a gold with it, but the gold sucks, which is what I'm partially worried about. And then, and then is then I can't beat it again for a while. I think one thing that's quite is surprisingly frustrating as you get better at a speed game is like bad golds. And you're always gonna have a gold that's like worse than the rest, but like. Unless your speed game is like fucking five seconds long. Or only has like one level to it or something where you just don't really have splits. But. Yeah. Okay. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure, just another day. Oh, yeah, I forgot I bought a thingy off uh, eBay. I mentioned earlier about like when sometimes you just buy a lot of stuff and you don't even remember what you bought. That just happened to me. Because remember before I said I bought like a Mario Kart Super Circuit thing? Uh, it was like a Wendy's toy in America. Like, I bought it like a few days ago and I completely forgot about it. I was like, what? Because I got a notification, and it was like, order update, it's on the way, and I'm like, excuse me, sir, I don't remember buying anything. And then I did remember buying something, so it worked yeah, out. It, we just buy a lot of things from Amazon and eBay, so it's just really hard to remember shit. Like, seriously now, we get like, we get like fucking like four packages or something a week. Maybe more than that. I think the worst is just like buying the wrong thing. I bought a switcher thingy, an HDMI switcher, but then I realized it was the wrong one. So I bought another one, and it turns out that was also the wrong one. And then, speaking of HDMI switches, I bought one for my other room. And I bought the wrong one, because I forgot that two of my thingies are 4K, so I needed a 4K box switcher thingy. But I only got 1080p, because I fucking forgot. Oh, 
statistically speaking, this is not the run. But it is okay if you believe. It's kind of funny when sometimes I'm in like 3k or something and then people, you have some people unironically, they're just like, This is the run, I believe it. And then they, it just dies in like rubber dub, <laughs> like two minutes later. I don't even know how often... Like, if I... You know that PB percent chance thing you can have on live split? If I had that right now, it'd literally be saying, like, 0.00%. Even after, like, BBBH, it'd probably say, like, 1%. <laughs> or, like, 2%. You will gold something this run. Alright, well, if you're wrong, you're getting banned from my chat. Can't be asked. SpongeBob. Oh, fuck it. Oh, I'm tired, bro. You know, this run's actually beginning to get somewhere. Maybe it can, like, maybe it, maybe it will actually get somewhere in gold something. I'll start to have some more promise, uh, some faith in this run. This run will have more promise if I can get past sandwich driving. Then I'll be more confident. I should bring back PB chance, it's pretty cool, but then there's like so much delta on my fucking live split. I don't I don't wanna get rid of any of this stuff either. Possible time save is just good to know very quickly how much time save you have. Previous segments, same thing. And to quickly figure out how far I was off my gold. Best possible time, really good motivator, especially in late game. It also feel good it feels good to lower your summer best. And then, kind of have a bad run, but then you, but then it's like, oh, my best possible time is the same as it was like three weeks ago into the segment, except my run's worse, but it, the best possible time's the same, like, that's so cool, you know, like that type of thing. And sometimes I just genuinely can't tell in, like, game if a run can PB. So, best possible time. Best possible time is pretty useless until, like, guess two, but still. Best split times, pretty obvious why I want that, and some of best obvious why I want that. The most useless one I have probably is best possible time, and I don't want to get rid of it. And then there's just no room for delta. Uh, for another delta. Maybe I could, like, put it somewhere else on the screen, but that probably looked bad. Ten copies of the Simpsons movie. The Simpsons movie ain't bad, but a lot of people must have owned it if they're just always a CX. Do you mean everything above Summer Burst? Damn. My nan bought us a burnt copy of...
the Simpsons movie, and then it turns out it was not the Simpsons movie. It was literally like a bunch of Simpsons episodes like strapped to each other, and they and the they called it the Simpsons movie. And then you can't even report that on eBay because you bought the product as well. So that make you also like, because you're not supposed to even buy like burnt discs off eBay anyway. But then your sentence doesn't make sense because you said move everything below Summer Best down, but there's nothing below Summer Best. Oh, that's what you meant? I thought you were talking about live split. I, I don't have my... I, I'm not looking at my OBS. But the... It's not a random percent bar, it's a bit goal. And the and the five emotes are to show what emotes you get when you subscribe to me. They're a constant reminder. You know how every company, like, will just advertise the fuck out of everything ever? It's to, like, slowly brainwash you into buying something, even if one ad doesn't make you think, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to McDonald's later. If you just see, like, ten McDonald's ads in, like, two days, you're gonna be more likely to think, like, damn, I should go to McDonald's. If the emotes are always on the screen, you're more likely to think, damn, I want those emotes, I should subscribe to Pibble Foundation Nation. Lena, there is something wrong with you. Do you just buy meth because you see it in Breaking Bad? I've never had McDonald's breakfast because I've never been awake in time to have McDonald's breakfast. Yeah, but I don't I don't want to remove the big goal. If people see a goal, then, then they're incentivized to fill it, to actually, like, fill it out. People like seeing progress bars get meet. Same with sub-goals. If there's no sub-goal, like, the number of times I've just gotten, like, five subs or something because... Like, that's how many I needed to meet a sub-goal. Like, I would just lose a lot of money in the long term. Same thing applies to big goals. Well, you know, if I'm streaming this game for like 30 plus hours a week, I would like a, a little bit of money, yeah. A lot of the money goes back into the stream anyway. In my years of streaming, I probably haven't even made that much total profit because a lot of it goes back into the stream. I found one more my capture setup on its own costs like 300. More than, actually. Like, 330 or something, probably. And I, and I would have just never bought that if I didn't stream. Dude, can you work? Like, holy shit, dude. Okay, so do I just, like, waste the next, like, 50 minutes in hopes for a gold, or do I reset? Nope, I am not continuing this. I fucking hate that this trick has to have, like, a temper tantrum, like, once a stream. It just, like, has to stop working at least once a stream. I don't know what my total revenue is. I've spent a lot of money. <sighs> PS5. 
I wanted a PS5, and then I realized it has no games. It's still hard to find. They're still, like, scalped. And it has, like, no games. So if I had one, I'd basically just do it for bragging rights. And because I have a PS4, and my PS4 is the base one, so it overheats and is loud as fuck, so I would like a PS5 to play the PS4 games. Yeah. The PS5 has, like, three or four exclusives, I think. Which, uh, yeah. The thing is with those consoles, though, is that... You can't get a PC for the price of those consoles and have the performance be as good. Because the hardware is optimized for those consoles, so that is something. So it's like... But they also cost... They still cost hundreds. And then if you put in a couple extra hundred, then you can get a PC that can sort of get similar performance. While also being useful in the sense that it has Windows on it. But not everybody's gonna want to do that. And some people already have a PC and they just want to spend... ...by a console... I will say, I do like the consoles. They give you a separation from, like, you know, when I'm playing games on my PC, I'm always looking at Discord and stuff. But, like, when I'm on a console, it's just me and the game. I'm just having a good time, you know? Just, just me. Well, I listen to, like, YouTube videos and stuff in the background because I probably have, like, ADHD, but. You know, like, basically, then I don't just have, like, a Discord tab open and, like, all this other shit, you know? It's just nice it, to have that separation. Uh, just it, so it's, it's basically just you in the game. You, know? you can for uh, Fortnite, but I don't use it because it's it's my Series X is hooked up to uh, my Series X is hooked up to a 50 inch TV. And I'm not exactly going to get much keyboard and mouse usage out of that. Just another day in the life of a manager. A short slide from manager to, well, not manager. Yeah, they don't, like, they don't want people to play on keyboard and mouse because it's like age and fear, brev. Everybody's got to be in the same boat, but it's like... There will always be ways to get around it with tools. Which will actually make it even worse. Because then, only people who can afford it, and know of it, can do it. As opposed to just having it so that anybody could get a shitty keyboard and mouse for like 10 quid at Poundland. So actually, it would make the competition objectively more fair if they allowed for keyboard and mouse. Who the fuck wants to play a first person shooter game anyway on a fucking controller? That shit's like unplayable. I have a PS5 controller as well. It's not bad, but I prefer the Series X controller. I only bought it because I got it for like 30 quid or something. It got it pretty cheap. And it's uh, the, the the V2 model, I think it's called. Because like the V1 one can like, it's uh... It's motors can break easily and I think the battery deteriorates quicker or something, but the V2 fixes that. I didn't even know I had a V2 until I bought it, so it was basically 50-50. Because I got it from Cashies, like, they don't know what the fuck they have, I don't know what the fuck I have. Better look it up. Yeah, that's true, I didn't even think about that, yeah. Like, if you even just buy, like, a shitty keyboard and mouse, like, the ones that, like, you get at school, like... You'd, you'd pretty much straight away have an advantage over controller players. And then you could say, like, where, where, but my opponent has, like, a $500 keyboard brev, where, where, but it's, like, that's how it works on PC as well. You can use the world's cheapest keyboard. Dude, I, I went to a charity shop the other day, and there was a, de a perfectly decent keyboard for three quid. I almost bought it, but I didn't. Uh, I could have used it as a backup keyboard, but I realized I already had a backup keyboard, but I don't like my backup keyboard, so I wanted that backup keyboard, but it was still kind of stupid to have that as a backup keyboard. When I already had one. It was three quid, and like, I don't know. Maybe I should have bought it, maybe not, I don't know.
That sounds pretty based. Although I use a Switch Pro controller and the Switch Pro controller is like very, very based. However, the adapter probably it does not cost more than the Pro controller. So if you already have an Xbox controller, you could buy the adapter and it probably works out cheaper. Uh, I use Joy Cons. Now I'm going to have to tell you to die. I didn't want to, but now I have to. A lot of people complain about stick drift, but I I haven't used my Joy-Cons in very long, maybe like 15 hours or something, so I've never really had to, like, think about it. However, apparently one thing that causes stick drift is if, like, a lot of dust and stuff builds into the thingy. So basically, if your house is dirty, it <laughs> and some people kind of expose themselves. They're like, I'm on, like, my seventh pair of Joy-Cons, brev. And it's like, mm, I'm starting to be a little bit suspicious of that now. I think you, uh, might live in a fucking... Uh, you might live in, in a bin or something. Like, how are they getting that dirty, bro? Do you put them in that, like, that holder thing that comes with the Switch? I almost bought Overwatch 1 on Switch because I thought it'd be funny, but thank god I didn't because the service shut down like a year and a half later. I literally just wanted to play to see how bad it was. If you say this is the run for every run, then I guess you'll eventually be right, but you'll also be wrong in the sense of how long it took you to get it right. How much did you buy the OLED for? SpongeBob. No, this is not the round shop, brev, shop, brev, shop, brev. Three ten. I saw one used uh, for two ten the other day, and the box looked like it was in good condition. I don't know if it came with everything. I didn't ask, uh. but I was pretty. I was uh, mildly interested. Uh, no, it was just the base OLED. Sometimes I think about having the OLED, and I'm like, hold on a second, I don't play handheld, never mind. It was low-key a little, like, not nice in Nintendo, but given Nintendo's track record, I fully expected them to keep the Switch the same price and then just make the OLED more expensive, but they actually made the OLED, like, the standard price, which... That's not actually, like, a huge thing. It's just that full Nintendo, I was not expecting that. <laughs> Although I feel bad for anybody who bought a Switch, like, a day before they announced the OLED. I've just really come to realize how much I like playing games on big screens. You know, like, when I spend all that money on those modded GBAs, my GameCube, even without, like, I mean, I spent a lot of money on the GameCube stuff, but... It looks okay blown up to a 50-inch TV, honestly. Like, it really... It's acceptable, and it's cool to find, like, it's it's gotten me to play Pokemon games on, like, that I didn't want to play, because it could play them on a big TV. Like, I, I realize I don't actually care about handheld. Like, hardly at all. And I kind of wish that for the next Nintendo console to just be, you know, not hybrid, but it's going to be hybrid. Absolutely going to be hybrid. Maybe the next console will be, like... Maybe they'll have, like, the base model be hybrid, and then it'll be, like, a pro version that isn't hybrid and is more powerful. Maybe I'd buy that, personally. Imagine a Nintendo console I could do, like, 4K. Granted, that probably took, like, fucking 20 years from now. When everyone else is doing, like, 16K, Nintendo's like, Alright, guys, we're finally doing it, bros. 4K, 30 FPS, whoa. Round of applause, whoa. 
that's probably what they'd be like. I have two, but I just... Uh... Dude, the kickstand is terrible, so then you have to hold it in your hands, but my- my neck doesn't really like when I do fucking this for, like, hours. I'd rather have it like this, and then- then I can use a Switch Pro Controller. Yeah, I know the OLED one is good, but I don't have that one. My desk is marble, and as you can imagine, a fucking slip slides around, you just can't use it on this fucking thing. No, 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 it will not, Venom. I can't imagine. If it did, I will let you know. Also, one thing that the OLED did was remove one of the USB ports in uh, for an Ethernet port. First of all, many people, many people have said that they get, like, the same speed connection with Wi-Fi as they do with fucking Ethernet. And second, I'm in the attic. I don't have another Ethernet port up here. I'm not going to use the Ethernet port. I'm going to use Wi-Fi. So I just get a USB port removed for literally no reason. I get z literally zero benefit from it because I will never, ever, ever use... I'll never use the Ethernet port, ever. So, you know. Now I'm down a port. For no reason. The storage is doubled, but the storage is still bad. And the screen is really good. Handheld when I, like, never play handheld. And it it's really weird. Like, I didn't even think about how the Switch doesn't have, like, an Ethernet port. And the thing is as well, right, is that the... What you can do if you really wanted an Ethernet port... You could buy an Ethernet to USB adapter, and then and then you buy um, 32 gigabytes of storage, and then it still comes out cheaper than the OLED. Of course, then you don't get the nice screen, but if you never play handheld, then... Saving money. By just buying shit separate. Yeah. I have, um, we had to drag the Ethernet pole from the living room. We had to, like, drill a hole and, like, send it all the way up to the attic. And now it's, like, in the storage room. Probably, like, where all the fucking spiders are. It's, like, super long. But, um, basically, its length is basically being cut short. Because, basically, um, I suspected that a lot of spiders were coming from the hole that the Ethernet um, cable was coming through. So we fucking, like, painted it over. And now the Ethernet port is just long enough to reach my Xbox if I need it. And it's obviously long enough for my PC, because it's, like, right next to the wall. But yeah, and since then, I've seen less spiders around my- around my desk. So I'm starting to think that a lot of spiders were actually- Especially because that's the corner of the storage room. A lot of spiders are probably coming from there. Yeah, my DS can't connect to- well, I haven't tried with, uh, the older connection. Um... But yeah, with my old Ethernet- uh, not my old- uh, my old router- I have a different router now, but with my old router, it, I couldn't connect. Yes. But my router now, um, has signals for strong and weak connections. Like, for older consoles. So, I'm wondering if that one might be able to pick up the DS. I haven't tried, because I just don't use my DS that much. When I'm on my DS, I'm probably playing, like, a Gen 4 or 5, or, I guess, 6, 7 Pokemon game. Got four generations of Pokemon that you can get on your 3DS. Crazy. 2DS- Dude. It's crazy how much value you can get from get buying a 2DS, like, used. And then buying, like, an R4 card, which you, like... Then you can get, like, several generations of gaming for, like, 50 quid. Uh, well, plus the R4 costs, like, 60 quid, 65 quid. Fucking crazy money. Manager coming through. That's the thing, though. I know people make fun of people who say that, but it really is, bro. I literally bricked my console, and I still managed to unbrick it and continue the mod up.
It is easier to mod a Wii, but my Wii was being weird when I tried to do it. I couldn't use the Wi-Fi setup, it literally just wouldn't work, so I had to use the offline setup, but that's still easy. No worries. Excitement, adventure, just another day in the life of a manager. I'll just say randomly. I got Minecraft on the PS Vita for like 10 quid recently, and I'm actually surprised by how good it is. I'm pretty sure it's 30 FPS, but it's basically just like the older cons of it, like 360 and stuff. I think it's even less updated though. Because even the PS3 and 360 versions have, like, the Woodland Mansions and shit. I don't think PSP has that, but... Or, I mean, PS Vita. But... Shit actually surprised me. Like, it's completely playable. Granted, I didn't try actually building anything, and it was just using terrain, but, like... But it was... I was surprised. It was actually not bad. Especially with how tiny the Vita is. Unironically, a good way to play Minecraft. Like, if you don't mind, like, an older version. The only other game I have on PS Vita is, uh, Steins Gate. But, that I got it cheaper. I got it, like, six quid cheaper than you could find it on eBay, and the thing is in good condition. I fucking love the PS Vita and Switch cartridges and cases. I love the cases because they're tiny and hard to damage. And I love the cartridges because they're tiny and hard to damage. Like, it hardly matters if you buy, like, Switch games used. It, like, hardly makes a difference. They never come with manuals anyway, and, like, they're hard to actually damage in any way. So most of the time, it's just better to buy them secondhand. Switch games don't go down in price that much, uh, new, so... Used is, like, the go. Especially then, you can get, like, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pill, for example, for, like, 25 quid. Dude, Pokemon Sword... I got it for like 25 quid when at the time that was like the cheapest I saw it, but now even CEX sells it for like 25, I think, or like 27. Lena, what does this mean? You know, on Twitter, when people are like. Somebody tries to flex, like, um. I don't know. Uh, my book has already sold te uh, 10,000 copies, and then somebody quote tweets and it's just like, my book sold 10,001 copies. That's like, that's that's a jam whenever, like, but the opposite, where it's just like, I got this game for £25, and Jam's like, I got it for £24. I got Brilliant Diamond because I had Diamond when I was younger, but I, then I got Shining Pearl, for, and yeah, I saw Achieve. I got it for 25 quid in CEX. And then I just didn't play it, but point is, like, I need every mainline game, because that's my goal. I need to get um, a case of manual for Sun. I need to buy Ultra Moon. Um... And then I need to buy a physical version of Let's Go Eevee, and then I think I need Pokemon Scarlet, and then that's everything. Dude, I sold Pokemon Scarlet for like 30 quid or something, or like 31 quid, like a few, uh, like a couple months ago or something, and then I just didn't, I didn't buy it, and then the listing went away, and I was like, fuck, dude.
I can't really think of any parent quotes at the top of my head. Um... Well, I can think of one. Also, that probably didn't work. Also, I'm out of nitros for some reason. I have no idea why. I remember my parents used to get mad at me when I'd get burger from, like, McDonald's or whatever. And I'd ask for no mayo, and they'd give me mayo, and I fucking hated it. And then they'd always have a go at me and be like, you can't even taste it. And then, fast forward to, like, several years later, we're eating at, like, some place. And my mom is, like, eating around something because it has mayo. And I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, well, I don't want to eat that. This is mayo. And I'm like, so you don't like mayo? And she's like, yeah, why? And it's like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Yeah, I use Honshkar on my team. I'm trying to remember my team. Um... Infernape. Welcome. Yeah, Infernape. Um. Honchcrow. Roserade. Gastrodon. Bronzong. And Rotom? I think. Uh, I like Empoleon, but I already use him in Platinum in 2021, so that's why I use Infernape. And because... Polterra sucks. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The yeah, I was too pissed off to think of something like that. Another thing that used to go on my nerves is that my mum used to try and pressure me to get a blood test, like, constantly, all the fucking time, for like, a while. Because she was, like, so positive for some reason. I had diabetes. And, like... Well, not diabetes, but, like, had, like, low sugar, blood sugar. Because, um, you, uh... If you didn't know, uh, you can't... It isn't just having too much sugar that can get you diabetes. It could, uh, having too little sugar can get you diabetes. And she claimed that I was eating too little sugar and that I was going to get diabetes. And... Welcome. That didn't make any sense. Because if anything, I was worried about having too much sugar. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The and then I had to get a blood test for an unrelated thing a few years later. My results came back every single- in every single category, every single thing I was average. So there was nothing to worry about then. And I didn't want my blood taken because I don't want fucking needles, bruv. I love Torterra's design and it's typing, but it's too fucking slow. Torterra, try not to... Try not to die as soon as, like, one snowflake touches a challenge. I don't know what my blood type is. I wasn't paying attention to that when I got it taken. Because I, I passed out and went to the hospital, and I was really sleep-deprived, and I felt sick, and I just wanted to go home, but my parents forced me to go to the hospital. So, my my blood type was, like, the least of my concerns. And then, afterwards, we went to McDonald's for the breakfast menu, the only time I've ever had the breakfast menu. I ate, like, a third of a hash brown, and I felt like I was gonna throw up because I felt like I ate way too much. I didn't- I didn't think I ate a third. I think I had, like, two bites, actually. I think it- yeah, probably wasn't even a third. Uh, on the last day of school, I broke my arm, so I had to go to, uh, th that is actually, like, classic Purple Foundation thing. Break my arm on the last day of school, and then the cast comes off only one week before the end of summer. That's so typical. Um, because we were playing Bulldogs, and somebody pushed my arm into the brick wall. Never 
fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. And then nobody believes that I broke my arm. Nobody believed me that I broke my arm because it was the last day of school. As in, like, they didn't see me wear a cast. It's like, nobody even fucking believed me. You know, I should've killed their parents, and then when they complained about it, I should've just been like, I don't believe you. Then, I also went to the hospital for, like, a sprained leg one time. I went to the hospital when I was really young, actually, because I was naughty at the dentist, so they had, they put me to sleep in the doctors to take all my baby teeth out, because I didn't, like, brush my teeth when I was really young. It was a bad kid. Um, then I went to the hospital. I had to go to the hospital, like, so many times because my grandparents... Dude, that was so fucking miserable. Ever since my nan had, like, that stroke, she just turned into a completely different person. And, like, then my granddad would always have heart attacks, and my nan would have strokes all the time. Like, there was a time where they were both in the hospital, and we would literally, like... I'd come home from school, I really just want to chill, and then we have to fucking go to the hospital immediately after, see my nan. Next day, want to go home? Nope, gotta see my granddad. Next day, gotta see my nan. Next day, gotta see my granddad. Just fucking, dude, give me a fucking break, Jesus fucking Christ. Every, like... And then even when only one of them was at the hospital, I still had to go there, like, fucking a few times a week. Ugh. And back then, by the way, I did not have a phone. Did not have a phone back then, so no way to distract myself. It's just incredibly boring and horrible the entire time. I especially hated that hospital that they were always in. That hospital, every room looks exactly the same, and it's all gray. It literally looks like a fucking prison. So fucking depressing and horrible. The only good thing about it is that patients got their own rooms. That was the only good thing about it. The manliness has landed. I see. That reminds me of something I heard before of like, somebody got their kid checked up for something. And the doctor was like, nope, can't find anything. And then they went to another doctor, and they're like, holy shit, bro, we need, like, immediate surgery on this kid. I don't even think the doctor would be legally in trouble for something like that. Either. That's, like, the stupid thing. Stops them from working. How do you make them, like, work again after that?
All right, I see. You're probably used to it by now, but that does sound a little scary, I guess, because, like... I mean... Welcome. I guess, to me, the thought that I, like, need something to even just allow me to live, like, every two years, so if I... If you live to, like, 80, you gotta have that done, like, 40 fucking times, and that just, that's... You know. I guess, like, the, the thing of, like, needing to get something done that I don't want to do would, like, be stressful. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The I even get really anxious just about like, going to the fucking dentist or something, so I couldn't imagine, like, not, like, just have every two years of my fucking, like, needing, like, oxygen, steroids and shit. I don't think I'll be able to mentally handle that. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep. Excitement. Adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. Uh. It's a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. Cleanliness is next to managerliness. Vacuuming up manliness, even in the corners. Misdiagnosis. This is a job for Doctors try to be useful challenge. Hey. Some doctors are just fucking useless. I remember going to a doctor about like my hand pain. He was literally just like, I don't know anything about hand pain, so I'm gonna prescribe you some fucking paracetamols. Like, okay, thanks. I went to like four or five doctors for that, and only one of them had anything useful to say. Still wasn't the key to fixing my pain, but it it was she gave the best advice by far. She said to like slowly build it up. Like to play for like 25 minutes a week, like every day, and then like 30, then 35, then 40, and then just, you know. That's what she told me to do, and that, and I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense, I, you know. She's the only one that actually said anything fucking useful. All the rest of them were just like, I don't get it, Brev. He's in pink in his Brev. Zaza. How about you get prescribed, prescribed some bitches? You might need some of those. Ooh, ooh, got him. Ooh, got him. Oh my god, it's fucking GDP, brev. He hear me say bitches, and he's like, alright, I gotta click on Pibble Foundation stream right now. My girlfriend's name is the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. She's kind of shy, though, so don't ask her about it. How's it going, GDP? Hope your day is... Going good. Okay, well, no worries. <laughs> Just know I'm thinking about you, though, and you telling me that I have no bitches. Booby tooby. <sighs> I just remember that one Family Guy clip where, um, Brian asks Jesus to do something, 
Like, he's whispering, you can't hear it. And then Lois's tits, like, fucking double in size and just- like, Actually, even more than that, they, like, triple in size and just fucking- they, They're so big that they're just on the table. <laughs> if I remember correctly, and then Brian's fucking jaw, like, drops to the table. <laughs> Oh, no, it was Peter that asked for that, not Brian. Peter asked for it, and then Brian's jaw dropped to the ground, uh, to the table. Well... The only character on the screen when it happens is Lois. You're looking at Lois. And then you see something in the corner of your eye just get bigger and bigger, so naturally you, your brain, like, makes you look at it. You know what's really stupid? You know those, like, eye tracker challenges where it's just, like, half-naked Twitch girls, basically? Conceptually, they're flawed. Because a lot of the time, the girls will literally be blocking, like, the actual entire screen. So there's physically, like, you physically cannot look at anything else, so they're just- they're flawed anyway. I think it'd be funny to do it in some sort of eye... I don't even have an eye tracker thing, though. I think they cost a few hundred. I think they're expensive. But they seem pretty interesting. It'd be interesting to, like, do a stream and just see where my eyes go in a stream. Because I don't know where they go. Also, if you'd see a character with tits that big, what are you gonna do? Not look. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Like when a character or whoever has like big tits, like if you if you look at the head and like the chest area is not far away from the head. Also, if it's a two D, if if the character's facing like this way. If their boobs are big, they're gonna be even closer to your eyes, effectively, than the head, because, like, they're even further out. So they're closer to your eyes, which makes your brain, like, want to look at them anyway. I mean, what I'm saying makes logical sense. How does it not make sense? To, to get more money from people, yes. Very simple explanation. Why? 
Well, I'm on season 23 right now. I'm so fucking sick of the Randy Weed shit, dude. I'm so tired of it. No one, no one likes it. I don't like it. No one likes it. God damn tired of it, bro. So was anyway, what's special about the newer episodes? SpongeBob. Well, if we were just talking about tits, then uh, I think it's something I should get excited for. Like a mouse. I will get there, I'm just a little south parked out right now. Because, um, you know, I binged like 20 something seasons and then played Stick of Truth. Like every day. And, and then when I was done with the game, I got all the friends and Shin Pokemon. Which reminds me, I need to bitch about South Park a little bit, Stick of Truth. Just, just for a minute. In the game, there are Chin Pokemon and, and friend requests that you cannot get unless you get them in the main story. And now I add all the Chin Pokemon, coincidentally. Now the max number of friends you can get is 120, right? So... How many friends did I have? How many... When I watched the video and I got all the friends that I could get... How many friends did I, Purple Foundation, have out of 120? Because the number was not 120. Bingo. Things that only ever happen to me. Again. Never mind, not only me. You know what? You know what? One I was missing. I was missing the quest where you talk to the police officer and he asks and he tells you to uh, kill like five zombies or something. And you give him back like zombie rings or something like that. I already killed like a bajillion zombies. I just never started the quest. I didn't think to. The police never have any anything interesting to say, so why would I think to friend the fucking police? The whole joke in South Park is that they fucking don't do anything, like, ever, pretty much. So why would I think that, like... And, and I know, like, they're asking me to do something, but, like, I don't know, I just... I just... How could I have reasonably thought to do to go in the police station? I don't know, I just don't see how I could have seen that coming. It's so annoying, because I have all the Chin Pokemon, and I just don't have that one, and I don't even feel like it's my fault. Do you know what, th what one you were missing? Also, as for me, I knew going into it that there were some friends that you couldn't get. So, I just got every- I just did every quest that I found that, that I could find, and the only one I missed was the zombie one. Dude, I just- I can't- I can't do bounces. Uh, and now I have- I have Fractured Behal, and I can't imagine they would have made the same mistake again. However, 
I'm a little burnt out on South Park. Not that burnt out, but I probably shouldn't play Fractured Behold. But I'm still watching the, the season, so am I really... Why is that? Wouldn't I want to save less then in case I save during the softlock? Oh, okay. I guess I'll do that. Oh, yeah. One other little. Uh, thank you for telling me, by the way. One little gripe I have as well with, with Stick of Truth. There are so many times, there are so many times, where it auto-saves, you lose a fight, you respawn, and then you don't have, like, and then you have to re-equip your armor because you didn't do that before the auto-save. You have to equip the right partner and, like, get out your bow so you can shoot the guys and stun them. Like, it, it, it particularly in the alien room, like, that uh, in, the, in the UFO, like, that happened a lot. I just had to keep equipping... The same thing every fucking time is so annoying. Another also, another thing, there are so many times in the game where they force you to auto-equip stuff, and that thing is usually worse than what you already have. Riley, what the hell does that mean? Oh yeah, and finally, I have her on PS4, uh, Fractured, but I don't, I, I don't have a, like, the, the only cable I have to charge my PS4 is a super short cable, like, super short. In contrast to my PS3, I have a cable that's so long, it goes from practically almost one side of the room to the other, so from the console to my bed, without any issues. It can just constantly be plugged in. Whereas my PS4 controller is like close to dying and all I have is a really shitty USB thingy. So I need to like fully charge it before I can like actually play. And I tried using my Wingman adapter, but it doesn't work. I need to buy a separate one apparently for PlayStation. But I don't see why I couldn't just convert PlayStation. They probably just did it to get more money. And I'm not buying one just for PlayStation. That's fucking stupid. I still don't know what the fuck you're talking about.
Strange question. I've never done that now. I don't want to sound like a hater, but like, it's so hard to get invested in Dowski's streams now. He, he ran a lot of Mario before he set 16 Star World Record. He, every time, he just like, he, he plays Minecraft for a really long time, then he goes back to SM64 for literally like two weeks, gets like one PB, if any, and then just, then stops again and plays Minecraft for months. Can't get invested in his streams anymore. Yeah, such like little overall passion for the game, but it's just like I don't even yeah. don't care to watch anymore. I just thought of that because it said he's live with Minecraft, and it's like fucking hell, dude. I'd imagine that running Minecraft when you're not a world record holder is probably chill because like the runs are pretty short, and you're not going for world records, so like, what's the rush? You know what I mean? This is probably pretty chill. I was like practically guaranteed to get at least like a gold today. I didn't get any golds. I made a joke earlier about getting no golds a stream, but like, oh my god, it might actually happen. Thank you for the good luck. I guess I should probably stop letting. Like, this is related to the South Park thing. I should probably. Stop worrying about getting fatigued and just play something. Because, like, I still have not played Persona 5 Royal. Because I'm worried I'll get burnt out. And I bought it months ago. Like, I guess I don't want to play, like, half the game, get tired of it, then don't play it for so long that I have to restart the game. That's probably it. But, like, I don't know. This is my sandwich driving practice file. But yeah, I, I put like 190 hours into Persona 5, not counting deaths and stuff where I, I died a lot of RNG. Yeah, so more like uh, 200 hours into the game. Well, I, I didn't mean mine as in I made it, I just meant like, mine as in I'm the only one who uses it. And it's on my Xbox. Anyway, hope your day is going good, at Latte. Yo, Chris practice mod's like pretty fucking good, by the way. I've been able to get in a lot of attempts. Um... I did find the Spongebob was like a few units too far to the left, but I didn't want to bother you about that. All I have to do is just barely ch adjust my angle when I go up to the thingy. I, when I say a few units, I literally mean like three units or something probably. Like, just barely off. And then the other thing is that like... I was thinking of asking you if it was possible... Actually, I don't, I don't even remember if I did ask you. But, like, I was wondering if it was, like, possible to, like, restart a scene while drowning in the lava because I didn't want to... Because sometimes I miss the token, but then I didn't want to ask for that either because then it, it seems like I'm just being...
I downloaded a floating block hack yesterday. I might play it today, maybe. See how the vibe is. Good afternoon to you. How you doing today? When I bought the game on Steam, I couldn't transfer my save data over, even though I had the files or some fan-made save converter program, but it didn't work for me. Game Pass is cool until they take away the games you like. I don't know why I wouldn't... That kind of reminds me of how Cosmic Shake didn't have, like, cloud functionality for some reason. But yeah, I don't know why the program wouldn't work for you. It was pretty cringe. Or you can pirate the games you like, like a boss. Uh, I can't get as fast as my Nathomen Gold because it it had a thingy that I haven't gotten since 2021. So... Also, the four seconds is estimating worst case scenario. Because you can either ledge grab or get a ledge grab skip, but the ledge grab skip is really hard and unlikely. But if I did that, that would fully negate the the amount of time I, ca I can't gold by. Which is 1.5 seconds, so that's negated, and then I save the 4. Which will then bring it down to one flat point five. Well, it's not heavy iron software, but it's a tool to mod heavy iron games. But if you wanted to make hacks, then generally you should upload them to the heavy iron wiki or uh, be in the heavy iron modding server and put them in the releases channel. Uh, kinda, yeah. You can. Well, you can do stuff. That's just, like, so much time that I just, like, don't know if I'd want to, like, have to do that again if I were you, Lena, but, you know, with different people. For what? Oh. I want I want movie source code, so we can get around hard coded shit. Now that would be hella based. Imagine like what we could do with the game at that point. Like we'd probably have any limits, really. Yeah. In SM64, they're doing some crazy shit. Um, if it's not, then Industrial Park will ask you to update anyway. But I don't know what the latest version is, but it'll tell- yeah. I mean, I guess so, but there are I don't think there are that many people in the server that can code, right? I mean, the standards are bound to increase eventually. It's just, like, an inevitability. A lot of people can probably piggyback off of each other's code anyway. Like, code to, like, modify um, more aspects of the menu. Like, there'll probably be, like, some code created that can universally be used... To, like, even begin modifying it, for example. I wish these Brainiacs would put their brains into figuring out ball storage. 
But instead, they're working on, uh... Mods. I don't know if you're memeing or not. Was bot bowl B O W L storage? You know the shit that we use for Mindy Scoop. We've never been really been able to figure out anything with it because when you try to look at the values in the game, the values change every like completely every like frame or two. So like you, it's really we don't even know what we're trying to attempt to look for in differences. We're gonna be talking about the penis. We're also gonna be talking about the vagina. I've been getting a lot more 559s, it's pretty cool. Sub-6 sandwich driving was just, like, not possible before. Not, not even my summer best was able to get me there. I think my summer best before the trick was, like, 602 or something, so... And I only ever got 603, like, twice. Like, 603.9. Ball storage could, like, potentially ruin the game if it can do guitar early, but in, like, nearly every other way it could be good. Or if it unlocks warps, like, Neptune, like, too early, but... If it's just able to do base stuff, which it probably will be able to, then that'll be nice. Purple ADDs. I don't know. Well, I don't know if you mean sub hour or sub hour summer burst. Uh, probably not because, like, you know, I have a lot going for me. I think I'd only react a lot to it if it took a surprising amount of time to get. But it's never been easier to get it now, so. If I could just get back to Nava Men one more time, I probably will. Of course, I can't get back to Nava Men. I, I, I'm seriously, I am being more lenient with like letting myself get runs, but like the the runs are really like the the runs that die that are really are like that bad to where I can't even attempt to continue them like realistically because then I'm really just wasting an entire hour as opposed to wasting like forty minutes or something. Well, yeah, because if 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 I if I die and steamed early, I automatically can't get world record. So, you know, earlier I continue to run the died in rubber dub two. You know, which is like fifteen minutes in, but three k just then that would have been like seven minutes in or eight minutes in. Boing. 
you have less height when you... I think if you lag before starting the jump, you get less height. Yeah, no, you definitely get less height. I made it that time, though. The room spinning or is it just me? But if you lag, like, in the middle of the jump, then you seem to get more height the second jump. I don't get it, Brett. I think the only person who does, like, lag jumps, though, I think is Sky. Or I don't even know if they do it anymore, but I swear they used to do lag at the end of depression for the double jump to make it a little easier. But, you know, just get a good a jump spacing CAC W, that's what I always say. I hate Sky. They wouldn't make me a mod, right? Sky made me some practice files. Latte made me, like, even more practice files, and Latte made them more recently. So then I tried to get Sky to make the Nalo Men one, and they wouldn't budge. In fact, didn't even say no to me, just ignore my messages, bro. I, I asked him twice and ignore my messages. So then I had to get Latte to do it, and now I have to watch Breaking Bad. I have stuff to do tonight, but I'll probably watch it tonight. Hey. Sky works. I don't need me to give him like five quid. <laughs> Hello, gaming guy. How is it going? I think we had a strike. Um, I forget who it was who was on strike. We had a strike, though. At some point. Um, That's true. Striking. Dude, I was pissed off before, right? In my primary school, we had, like, seven teachers or something, and the literal only teacher who wasn't on strike was the one for my year. <laughs> like, of course. I had to go to fucking school. Passport officers are on strike. I'm glad I got- Dude, I got mine done in 2017, but for some reason, they gave me a 10-year one and not a 5-year one, even though I'm clearly gonna look different, a lot different in 2026 compared to fucking 2017. Very strange, but I'm not complaining. I was only like, um, let me think. I was like barely 16, I think, when I got mine done. Quite an age difference between 16 and 26. Sorry, I meant to say I'm 5 years old. Still though, that's kind of stupid. I'm gonna look quite different in 5 years- well, it would've already expired by now. Also, the other reason why it's stupid is because my passport says fucking EU on it, even though, like, at that point we are in negotiations to leave. So, like, they probably should have planned that ahead of time and be like, okay, I'll probably look stupid if by 2020, like, five, some kids still have a fucking passport that says EU on it. Like, we should probably make it five years instead. I got a, an account with CEX, and I had to use my passport because I don't have ID. Hello, Zero. I hope you, your day is going good. Yeah. I just look, like, young, so I... Must be fun working as a bouncer for an LGBT nightclub. Why did you say this? What is the relevance?
Oh, okay. I get it now, bruv. Instead of mine saying Purple Foundation, it's a Violet, um... Violet Sunshine. <laughs> it would I wouldn't actually change my name to fucking Sunshine. Mercy player username. I've seen Overwatch E data's before and they got like matching names. Ah, oh, dude, I can't remember what the names were, but it was so funny. I think I put them in general before, but I had to, I'd have to scroll like really far up. SpongeBob. Latte, I forgot. Can you link me so I can upload it? I was thinking of giving the channel to, like, multiple people, but I feel like I could get abused. And also, I used, like, an actual email that I used for, like, in the account. It was just kind of like... You'd probably have to, like, request another one or something, I don't know. I would be a lot more concerned about how I look for the rest of my life as opposed to my license or my ID being valid or not. I thought about this, like, family guy gag a lot in my life. Peter, I think it's Peter who says it. He says that if you get your, um, your photo taken while drunk and then, like, the cops pull you over in the car while drunk, like, you'll look the same. And then as long as you behave normally, then, uh, <laughs> like, you're off the... Fuck. Well, no, it's because I've watched every Family Guy episode so I can remember everything. I don't like Family Guy. Overall. Counting the good and bad seasons and everything, the show is like... Probably like 4 out of 10. Catgirl. Imagine you're in a party with Catgirl, Catgirl, Catgirl. Cat girl. And then and then and then there's Lena. Mine is still Dave the Rave. I'll never change. Why do I keep getting Discord notifications? Okay, well, Genshin Impact players are not normal. I kind of expected that. Oh, really? Maybe we should do a time comparison, but then you uh, we need a good thingy of it, and that sounds terrible. Welcome. Hello, Newt. I hope your Tuesday is going terrific. I get mocked for having cat headphones. They're just jealous that they're not on estrogen. Well, latte, now it's time to get it a fifth time. <laughs> I think at least, like, a bad comparison would help, like, because then we can at least estimate, like, how much time save there is. Either that, or we can just take a clip from that task that you made, but... Yeah. Excitement, adventure, just another day in the life of a manager. Punch the school. Sorry to hear that. Manager coming through. If somebody punches you at school, I think uh, you have free reign at that point to like bomb them or something. Hey guys, Pibble Foundation here. Today I'm going to do Canyon Skip Tutorial for beginners. So stand like near the edge, but not too close off the edge. And then you're going to spin to get extra frames off the ledge, but you don't want to go too far off the edge. And then you want to jump space properly. So good jump spacing looks like this. And then you also want to hold A to extend your jumps. It's dynamic jumping. If you hold A, it looks like this. So, so, this is what it looks like, good jump spacing, but dynamic, but no dynamic jumping, or, like, minimal jumping. 
And then here's what it looks like when you do both correctly. So you can get a lot of duration uh, duration on your height. You walk close off the ledge, but not too far. Remember to space out the jumps and then spin afterwards. And then you make, should make it to the other side. And that is my Canyon Skip tutorial. I have infinite riz with the Overwatch Eagles. Can you tell me your secrets, please? I really need to get some mercy pussy. Some, some mussy, if you would. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Well, the thing is, is that movie doesn't do a good job of teaching you. Like, you have to immediately get good at jump spacing with a lot of tricks in this game, and that's the problem, and a lot of people just can't grasp that. But just practice, like, jump spacing. Like, that's, like, the most one of the most important things you can learn, because it's important for a bunch of tricks, including slide skip. Well, GDP, there is a 2021 tutorial that is 40 videos long if you want to learn every- Well, not everything, but back then, everything. You see why I haven't learned to do it? That was in 2021 as well. So there's like even more shit you could learn now. So the, the video, if it was made now, it'd probably be like 50 videos. And don't get me wrong, I'm glad this is a tutorial, but like, holy shit, dude. Well, I'm just saying my personal opinion. It's discouraging for me, and I'm just saying that. If you have patience, I'm sure it's cool to learn how to mod. If anything, I'm putting- I'm giving modders more respect by saying that, that I just don't really have the patience to do something like that, and yet they do. Okay, but <laughs> that's because 40 is a lot. Some of the videos are short, some of them are a bit long, but at the end of the day, there's 40 videos, and there would be more. There is a lot of stuff that you can just learn by just asking people shit and just getting experience. There's a lot of things where you just don't know, uh, it's just like, how do I do this, or why is this thing not working? And you, somebody will usually help you. Bake scale and bake rotation. Um, are we talking about fucking baking some weed brownies? Are we rotating the weed brownies? Dude, I, I really want to finish another run. SpongeBob. I don't know why, I just find the message your ass put a lot of emphasis on the 40 really funny. The only thing I, I put a lot of emphasis on is, um, getting hot babes, playing movie. Yeah. I feel the Minecraft freak just knows, like, everything ever for no reason. I think that's pretty cool. You have like the you have like the wizard. He's like he's like the wise wizard of the of the uh, the heavy iron modding community. And I like his mods, his movie level mods. He always makes them too hard, but I like I still like them. I appreciate them. I've messaged him before. 
Um, and I just told him, like, in some spots, like, of his Navo Men hack, like, where some are just not console compatible. And then I, and then, you know, he fixed them, and we just had a little conversation. Dude, what was the point of practicing this? fucking trick won't ever let me play the goddamn game. Sometimes I want to just not do it just so I can, like, get to later segments in the run so I can go for monumental gold. Like, uh... <sighs> I miss the old sandwich out of bounds. It was so much easier. Not relevant. If it, Well, if I knew which ones were relevant, I'd be more, like... But I don't know which ones are worth my time. Also, I don't like the the modding tutorial uses battle as a base. I want to use a movie. Welcome. Twenty twenty two. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The I wonder what he's up to these days. I I forgot the other time I The other time I talked to Minecraft Freak was in well you mentioned Sponge Kunko last stream he just casually just said some super transphobic thing in Minecraft Freak's server and I told Minecraft Freak about it This is a job for and then he banned him. That was quite a dub. Hey. Well, movie just has like more stuff. Like, I just. You know, most people make hacks for movie. Doesn't it just make sense for the tutorial to be based on movie? It's the best for, like, small hacks. By the looks of it. that That's what I gather, anyway, from how most battle hacks are just quite... But, well, it's not like there's not a lot of, of, of battle hacks, but there's definitely more movie hacks. I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> He's banning a lot of servers, yeah. I think we banned him from the movie server. You know one thing I- one modding thing I tried to do before? I was following a tutorial to mod Mario Kart Wii. Like, I made a custom map. And like, god, dude, you needed to download like like six separate fucking programs as a fucking nightmare. It was horrible. Nude Rosalina mod 3.2. Why- why would it- why would it need to go past, like, 1.1? 1 .1? Why would it need to be made, actually? The- the only character mod I ever used in Mario Kart Wii was, uh... Swapping the Mario model with, like, a Super Mario 64 model. That's all I ever did. And I still have it, I think. I think it's cool. Do you remember that really old Mario Kart Wii video where it's like... Mario says Spongebob. I remember seeing that when I was younger, and I was like, oh my god, he said Spongebob, oh my god. Oh, by the way, you remember YouTube annotations? Apparently there's, like, an extension, like a Chrome extension to bring them back. Um... 
So that I think that's really interesting. I might download. I might get that. Naked daisy texture. Welcome. God, I wouldn't be able to keep my eyes off the prize. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Why would you fucking you? Yeah, why would you do that on stream? That's very fucking bizarre. Manager coming through. This is a job for a manager. God, I would do anything to transform into Daisy's mock bike. But... Saved you a click, like, every- all of his likes are Daisy, and like, 80% of them are not- not, not even 80- 90% of them are not safe for work. It's fucking crazy. He- he- his- he sticks to his gimmick, like, super consistently, and then if you look at his likes, it's all Daisy porn. Just, like... I, I scrolled down for like a really, really long time, and I don't think I saw a single tweet that just didn't have Daisy in it. Like, it's fucking crazy how obsessed he is with Daisy. Rosalina. She looks like a basic bitch, though. She, like, she just. I don't know. Twitter blue. Twitter, yeah, I've seen people be like, "Um, you pay for like Netflix and not Twitter blue." Um, Libtard owned, and it's like, yeah, but Netflix like actually gives you something that's like notable, whereas like Twitter blue doesn't give you anything. It gives you blue tick, and that's like basically it. Okay, whenever someone says something really bad, people are just like, this chat sucks, but like, that happens like so fucking infrequently. Well, you could post Breaking Bad episodes on Twitter, they probably get taken down, but like, you could. Alright, GDP, I think that is quite enough, thank you. How the hell did that not work? Oh. I didn't know the thing was that far away. Ouch. 
Your mum is better th in bed than your dad. There's no way you're stuck, bro. God damn it, he's stuck. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. It fucking pains me that the, the, the Dream Discussion channel just makes me think of that fucking terrible YouTuber. Bro fell off. He's having like some fucking beef with Quackity. I don't even know like what the context is. But people were quick to point out that when he- when Dream had, like, grooming allegations, he spent two tweets typing about it, and with the quackity thing, it was, like, fucking triple the length. So, you know, he's got priorities. And also, I think the quackity thing was literally just, like, I think quackity accused him of stealing his idea in Minecraft or something, and then I think he ghosted him. Yeah. It's easy for me to say, like, back in my day we had, like, Captain Sparkles and all that shit, but, like, I do acknowledge now that, like, the Minecraft videos that people make now, like, objectively take more effort. But, like, they just cringe. Like, I guess that's just, like, the word I would use, like, the cringe, the too energetic and cringe. I watch some Minecraft YouTubers where they, because they build, like, really impressive shit. Like, they'll build, like... Like, a huge circle, and have, like, a biome represent, like, a piece of the circle, and, like, they'll fill out every bit of, uh, of the circle with biomes. Shit like that. But a lot of them are still really cringe, but it's still cool to, like, watch the buildings. And that's how I describe a lot of them. Too energetic and just cringe. I like, I like when YouTubers are real, you know what I mean? And obviously, like, they're never gonna be fully, like... You know, they're gonna articulate themselves better. Like, their voice range is going to be... Uh, what's, what am I trying to say? If they were actually just recording a video with, like, no effort into how they say, like, things into the mic, they'd be talking like how I am right now. Whereas all the Minecraft YouTubers talk like this. Like, the whole time. Back in my D's. I used to be a Minecraft YouTuber as well. Who on planet Earth was not a Minecraft YouTuber? In this video, I'm a speedrunner and my friends are going to hunt me. Oh, guys, there he is. Let's get him. Yeah. Oh, my God. He did a 360 no-scope, and then he did the... Bu he, and then he... He did the strat where, like, you... D the water bucket strat where, like, you fall a billion blocks and then place a water bucket a few frames before you drop. Oh, my God. He's so good. I'm gonna suck his cock now for the next 10 minutes. Those videos are fake anyway. Like, th they've been proven fake. Like... He, like, Dream admitted that he uses mods to, like, increase loot chance in, like, chests and stuff. But they're probably fake anyway, with just, like, how they play out like, in the actual videos. Five Nights at Freddy's. It could have been worse. It could have been a Slenderman YouTuber. Or Bendy YouTuber. Never uploaded anything Minecraft related. You're like one in a billion.
Oh my god. You know one thing I fucking hate about YouTube Shorts and TikTok? Like, how they, like... I don't know, it's like... What is the random thing that nobody cares about? You might think it's X thing, but actually you couldn't be further from the truth. They don't talk like that. I hate that. I hate when they say something along the lines of, like, you couldn't be more wrong, or, you know, just anything like that. Like, you would think it's this thing, but you couldn't be more wrong. I just fucking hate that. It's not surprising anymore after YouTuber number 40 quintillion says that. It doesn't- it doesn't mean anything. Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> The last thing you want in your Burger King burgers. <laughs> That's not funny. It's just funny because like it's been so long, so now it's like kind of funny again. Oh, dude, looping videos where they like the video starts with like. This person is behind bars, or whatever, and then at the end of it, and then, and then it's like, So now you know why. This person is behind bars. I just, like... I, I think the reason why they do that is so that stupid people who aren't paying attention... Like, don't notice that the video has ended, so they keep watching, so they get even more watch time and even more views, if that makes sense. I think that's why. Because that might not sound like it's worth it, but it's a very low effort thing, and it probably does work. There are a lot of people who probably just don't even, like, like they're hardly paying attention to a YouTube short. And the thing is, like, I'm thinking of doing it too, because it probably does work. Oh, one thing I fucking hate is whenever, um, you know, it's like an interesting topic, and then they make you, like, they take so long explaining the thing that they make you, like, it's like, stay tuned for part two, and it's like, I'm not staying tuned for part two, I don't even know the name of your YouTube channel. And that's the side effect of YouTube shorts, I don't even know who the fuck I'm watching. You think I'm stick around for a part two? Fuck off. Check out the full video to know how this happens. Like, fuck off, dude. Ugh. How's it going, Jake? Hope your day is good. What I've noticed, TikTok is more for, like, memes and stuff, and YouTube shorts is more for stuff that's, like, supposed to interest you. But it's so bad, because they'll just do, like, the looping thing, and, like, they will have the TikTok voice. I get a lot of YouTube shorts about people who buy, like, vending machines and making a lot of money, and and then it makes me think, like, for a split second, like, damn, I should do that, but... Can't be asked. Also, it probably isn't as profit- Dude, I saw a YouTube short before about somebody basically flexing the fucking crypto mine. They had, like, this huge building just basically just filled with graphics cards. Could you imagine how much electricity that thing costs to run? But apparently it makes, like, millions off of that. I fucking hate YouTubers. I hope they'll die. Sciencey videos? Yeah. Oh my god, you know what else I hate about YouTube Shorts and TikToks? They all use- well, especially YouTube Shorts, they all use the same, like, eight songs for all the fucking Shorts. They always use the same, like, eight or ten songs. They all do it. You know the one that's like... Uh, I'll blow up into smithereens. You know that one? That one- that one's in so many t fucking YouTube shorts. Also, TikTok is like definitely way more sexual. I keep- every, like, 20 videos or something, I keep seeing Bikini Babe Girls, and it's just like, bro. I hate how popular some people are on TikTok when, like, literally all they do is just... ...dance a tiny bit when there's, like, some basic song in the background and the fucking tits are jiggling everywhere, like...
poisoned by it. Well, I'm not going to change my mind on it now. It's used for cringe YouTube shorts, and now I hate it. I It's especially used for Minecraft, and I don't know why. Like, Minecraft buildings. I don't go on YouTube shorts, like, nearly as much as I used to, but I still sometimes do. Hmm. You might have heard that. That was South Park clip. Um, my volume was on. Yeah, so I went on YouTube Shorts, and the first thing I see is South Park in English and Chinese subtitles for some reason. And um, even though I'm pretty sure... Oh, yeah, I know why. It's because uh, South Park, I think, is banned in China because they made an episode making fun of China. Um, so that's probably why. Um, and there's mobile gameplay at the bottom. Who would have guessed? Dude, if you just record, like, an hour of footage for a, for a some mobile game, you can use that for the next, like, fucking, like, 50 YouTube shorts. Yeah, I watched the episode recently. Thank you, Lena. Toy Chica... I, see. I wouldn't complain. Um. Basically, um. Randy tries to get. sell weed to China. Um, and then there's a joke about how Winnie the Pooh is, like, illegal in China, because, like... And this actually did happen in real life. Somebody compared... A kid... Uh, compared Winnie the Pooh... to the, the Chinese, um, president. So... Now Winnie the Pooh is banned. Um... And then... Randy tries to, like... Randy's still trying to get on China's side. But then he fucks up, and then Disney... Like, Disney gets fucked by China as well. And then basically, Mickey and Randy, like, kill Winnie the Pooh. They lure him out with honey and they just fucking kill him. Pretty gruesome. Well, not gruesome, but, like, yeah, they, yeah, they fucking kill him. Lead him into a dark room and just fucking <laughs> just actually kill him. Um, and now Disney's allowed in China again, and Randy can sell weed in China. That is basically the episode. I feel like speech bubble gifts and stuff is starting to like not be funny anymore. They used a lot. Dude, no, nah, I'm not a hater. I saw a meme like that was getting pop I get well, I don't, not even popular. I saw it twice and then I saw somebody complain about it. It was like can we all agree that this meme was never fucking funny and it's just really annoying and it's like... This is my... Th with you posting it, that is the third time I've ever seen it. And now apparently I've just missed something. And even all the quote tweets are just, Well, not all of them, or a lot of them are just like, bro, yeah, like, what the fuck are you talking about? This, this has been a thing for like a few days. Twitter's just been really negative in general. I saw somebody bitching in my timeline about videos being multiple hours long. It's like... Hey, you're clearly not good at script writing. You clearly don't have any fucking skill or whatever. And it's like, dude, fuck off, you fucking cunt. Like, there's a fucking demand for it. Why else do you fucking think, like, th these videos exist? And, like, and he's like, oh, well, you know, uh, programs and stuff are able to condense themselves. You can too. And it's like, no, the reason why programs have to condense themselves is because the TV networks want to cram as many shows into their network as possible. Right? So that they cater to as many people as possible, so that they make as much money as possible. On YouTube, you don't need to do that. So, no, actually, I want to I want to say every possible point I can. Like, fuck off. The fucking asshole, like, actually, fucking, that pissed me off. Like, how, like, how can you be that negative that you, like, 
People, like, pour, like, so many hours of their life into, like, this fucking passion project and you just have to be a fucking cunt about it. Like, fuck off, dude. I wish I could, I wish I could. Dude, I, I, like, basically never see babies outside anymore without iPads. <laughs> like... They always have iPads now. Like, the generation's just doomed because, like, they're all gonna have, like, actually zero attention span. The, 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 they, the parents don't parent them, and instead, like, they just watch, like... I don't know, they just watch Boss Baby or something on their iPads. It was annoying about the internet as well, right? Like, it was originally used as, like, a way to escape from reality, but now w people are so connected on the internet and people are so antisocial that people go to the internet first and foremost. They go to the internet first and foremost to, to be depressing. When originally, you would go to the internet to have fun. But now, if anything, real life, ironically... I feel like it's easier to get away from problems in real life, which is why people recommend that you, like, take a walk and stuff. But, like, we're so connected on the internet that, like, this is our life, in that sense. It's just, you know... And I'm clinically online, and I've been affected by it, too, just being, like, you know... But the thing, like, it's just, like, this fucking aura of, like, negativity, like, it, it, it's so contagious. I got it from other people, I'm spreading it to other people, and they're gonna spread it to other people. Like... Everyone's spreading it to everyone. And now the internet's just like, super negative all the time. It's never been easier for your voice to be here, and I think that's the problem. Gummy bear surprise. Yummy D's. Alright, we have a run. I'm probably just gonna finish it, probably no matter what happens, because... I just want to, I think, for the good luck. Fun little fact, by the way, that's not even fun. The goo on the goo fountain thingy extends a little bit beyond what you can see. So... Um, you actually start going on, like, the goo bit, like, a tiny bit before actually visibly going on it. Not by much, like, a quarter of a second, but, yeah, it's just, like, a tiny little thing. What does being British have anything to do with anything? It's too Ugh. Yeah, I'm, I'm... I'm too tired for getting seven hours of sleep. Runs quite good now that I think about it. If I keep, if I play like really well, I can easily be on best pace. Um, out after the first segment of Now That We're Men.
I don't even think I need spew boost. I had a fucking crazy run the other day. I think I was like 12 seconds off the Summer Best or something going into Rock Slide, which is like insane. Minus 17, that's fucked. The gates are locked. We're out of control. Usually I don't get very tired if I have a run going, but I don't know, I'm just like weird today, I suppose. A lo the vast majority of creators make very little money. Like, there are people that make, like, $50 or something, like, a month, and they'll literally be in, like, the top, like, 15% of all OnlyFans creators or something. It's only good if you're, like, in the top, like, 5%, probably. And the, and the thing is with, like, doing, like, OnlyFans stuff is that you get sexualized to the extent where a lot of people don't even see you as a human anymore. So it's like... No. Although it is crazy how much money you can get. I think Amaranth said before that she makes like a million off OnlyFans a month and then like only- but then only makes like 100k off Twitch a month or something. Which is just like insane at that point. It's like why even do the Twitch? I guess as a reminder of like of how she does OnlyFans, I guess. Also, she goes AFK for like half her fucking streams, so getting a hundred a hundred K when she doesn't even really do anything still. Hobby does anything, that's pretty good. Then again, you're not, you're, I mean, in the real world, you're not really respected that much if you're a YouTuber or whatever anyway, but I'd still rather be... ...based Twitch streamer compared to, like, OnlyFans, whatever, you know? I'm not having to go with people to do OnlyFans, but, yeah. That's the best weenie I've gotten in a while, I think. Amaranth's chat is also just fucking terrible on Twitch. Off the comments about uh, just speaking in a different language when it says English only, or just saying something super sexual and then getting timed out of band. The mods must be such cucks. Uh, I just remember when Jam was here, me and Jam had like a bit of just making fun of Ice Spice for like two days, it was really funny. And then coincidentally on the same day, fucking Ice Spice was playing on the radio. Like, how does that happen, Brev?
Normally I'd agree, but like it was the radio this time. Pitbull Foundation, Ice Spice, collab, <laughs> when? People really like when I rap on stream, so I probably, probably hit it big. I might even actually be able to get best pace out of Rock Slide, potentially. How would that be you? Take that, you space monster thing. Thank you for the good luck. Do sure appreciate that. Run is pretty good. Um, and then I can. I have that time saving now that I'm in that I can hopefully get. But I'm planning to continue this run to finish it, probably no matter what happens, unless I like soft lock and Sunday or the game crashes. Well, I don't have an inherent problem with YouTubers. I think the concept is intri- you know, people who just want to connect with all- and maybe they're shy, they're too shy to show their face or whatever. Although a lot of them kind of are, like, normie girls, but because, you know, the audience is all male, like, they get pretty popular. But I don't think, like, they're inherently, like... For, for a community with, like... A lot of, at least, like, when you're just looking as an outsider, it looks like there's a lot of positivity, but apparently there's, like, a ton of drama in the community, like, all the time. Purple after discovering Chris animation skip enables a bowl storage effect, which crashes in Neptune Phase 3. Well... If it does, then luckily I won't have to do the trick anymore. In it, bruv. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, again, I think the concept of VTubing is cool, but... Yeah. <laughs> I remember when Pokimane did, like, a VTuber stream before. People would not happy.
Pokemon needs to get herself into drama like all the time. Although I think she's been relatively clean for a bit. Alright, let's do it. And of course, thing that I did not do in the, any of the other attempts. Which means now, because I did that, I'm probably gonna get the trick, because that's how it works usually. Who could have seen this coming? 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 Well, now, if I finish this up, I have a bad gold. But at least still be a gold, I suppose. Well, maybe not even, because again, I can't. I already can't gold by 1.5 seconds, and then I don't know how much that cost me. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is gonna gold, it's just not gonna be a good gold. Is it really not even golding? Wow, fuck this game. Give me something to look forward to, like god damn. Can't get the can't get the fucking summer best down like a single fucking millisecond. Ugh. This might be on gold purse. I will say, though, this run is actually really good.
Like, look at, look at how far ahead I am of, of my best pace. Dude, this run is still really good. E even the even on this pace though, it's not one flat pace, but oh, stuff. if I just play good, then this is like one X pace. Like low one X pace. And if I play very good, then it's OX pace. But, yeah, no, like, this is not one flat pace, I wouldn't say. I mean, when I sob 59 times, it's movie's fault. Hello, Sky. Hope the boy Tummy Tuesday is treating you well. Um... Yeah, so... I haven't gotten any goals today, but this run is moving. Sky be like, I'm eating pizza slash chicken from Obby's. That was close. Well, not the pizza bit, but... Did I just not do SpongeBob? Dude, I keep fucking up the order. I need to actually, like, decide on an order to do this stuff in because I keep forgetting things. I like to do... Flood and Block, Cirque, SpongeBob, but I just keep doing it in a different order. Like, for some reason. It's, like, fucking me up. Imagine I get a god run that stops me playing this category before actually getting 59 some of us. That'd be cringe. I want the 59 segmented run very badly, but the game won't let me have it, breath. It won't let me have it, breath. In like, now that we're men, 
and and monumental and knucklehead combined, I have like upwards of like like over six seconds of time save. Minus eleven. Dude, what the fuck? I, well, I wouldn't even call forty-five minutes a feature-length film, any well. I, like, um, well, I don't know what like the minimum should be to consider something a movie, but I feel like it should probably be like an hour. How can something take up, like, a 24th of the day and still be considered a movie, you know what I mean? You could try running less, maybe. I don't know if you want to do that. No, I have not GDP. However, you can find out what anime I watch by watching my second channel's purple SRC video on the- on, uh, my anime list. However, keep in mind that I- the music is, like, fucking blasting for a lot of it, because I wasn't listening to the music and I had the volume at, like, the same sort of rough point as last time. But I swear to god, every time I turn my PC on, like, the fucking desktop audio, it just, like... It's just- it just changes. I- I turn the PC off, I turn it back on, it's just different the next day, I swear to god. So the music is just louder than me for like, basically the whole video. And at one point, like, you practically can't even hear me. I notice that when I record those videos, I get louder and louder as I go on because I put my face closer to the mic, so for the first, like, hour it's kinda hard to hear me. Oh, I, I like barely watch any TF2 stuff in general. It's like hard to get into TF2 when it feels like Valve Loki wants a game to die. Maybe you could just have a video for the stuff that isn't self-explanatory, then. I never really got into Counter-Strike. But that's fair. Hero Pants pulls storage in runs to make the world record 5 minutes win. Also, I missed a Nitro. I did that earlier as well. A little cringe. Just like a little sprinkle of cringe, you know? If this run is like really good out of guess too, I'll probably like... ...ing. Minus 33, um, for my best. This is okay, well, the only thing now is that my run has, like, no more time save for the rest of this. So I'm probably just gonna lose time in every split. That's the only issue. My late game is very godlike. Also, Mindy's been working a little too often recently. So I have my doubts. Yeah, that's why I feel like Hundo is better to run, because, like, it's longer. <laughs> More content. Ow. 
Maybe you could find some stuff, perhaps. Geopants is plagued, probably, by things being too, like, like, if you just watch a run and then try to copy things, you could probably really easily beat the game in under, like, an hour. I feel like it's almost too easy to do a lot of it. Like, even if you miss cycles and stuff, just, like, just getting things, like, it's too easy to just jump around an area and just not do it, I feel like. But that's just how the game is built. Like, what are you gonna do about that? Hero Pants intended percent. Fucking Hero Pants' version of Damn Daniel percent. Powerless. Maybe. I don't know if we'd be able to do enough. It could work, it might be worth giving it a go, but I feel like it'd probably just turn out to just not be different enough to warrant it, or, or be worse. Than just any percent, but I could be wrong. It'd be, I would be interested to see like how much of a time difference like the super energy I actually makes. Oh, I see. Not based. Okay, well, one flat's out of the question, but I'm still on good, like, world record pace. I'm still on, like, semi-reasonable 1x pace. Also, I don't know how that den is too golded by so much. I need to, I definitely need to retime that. I mean, I know I split early, but I don't think I split early enough to, like, not gold. With Dennis 2, it feels so random if you're gonna gold or not. Well, I already proved that Frogfish can, like, attack you at random times and shit, so... I wonder if, like, if that Dennis 2 just then, like, Dennis just attacked me, like... Well, no, no, that doesn't make any sense, because he, like, never attacks you, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe my load was really good or something. Cutscene load, yeah, that could have been a two. Dude, 101 flat, best possible time into playing. That's a little painful, but... Because it could have been... It could have been one flat, best possible time, which would have been insane. This is like run of my life, except for Gask, but even in spite of that, it's still pretty good. Seriously, if I got that and then just got, like, good Plank, Knucklehead, and Neptune, like, this run would be basically unbeatable until, like, the end of the year or something. Like, it was, like, the best I've ever played in my entire life. It's probably the best movie gameplay ever until Guess 2 kind of fucked it. Oh, I forgot to ping, shit. Boing. 
That's a good reason to buy something, he thinks. Yeah, when I tried to use her, I had no idea how to spawn things in either. Sky, if there were, you know what would happen to them. It's not worth it. Because people would, uh, sexualize the figurines. In it, Brev. I just realized I'm in a situation where my manlies might actually not be enough, even though I got the SCDA stack, which is just- I don't even know how that's possible. My manlies must have been really fucking bad to this run. Thank you for the good luck, Con and Lucy. If you're just tuning in, like, I just had, like, the literal, like, best movie gameplay we've ever seen, and then Guess 2 happened, but the run is still quite good. It's probably enough height. I probably should have done 10 ball jumps instead of 8 because I'm not in exactly in a rush. But that looked like enough height to me, so I mean, you know. I'd rather not be a pussy. I, I, I pressed A. Like, I just straight up pressed A. I don't know why my A input just didn't work. I literally fucking pressed the button. I wish I had fucking input display so I could prove, but I, I absolutely pressed A. Where... I can still do it. I have to not make any major mistakes, and I don't know if my manlies are good. I feel like it's not gonna work, but if it does, I don't even know if I'll be okay. Back the paddy wagon, but you'll need more. Okay. And now I need to not suck and also get enough manlies. 
which I should be able to get enough, but if I, if I get bad RNG and get hit by those, like, eye things, then I might not have enough. Okay. Well, there's, there's one more as well, but that you need to get, like, really bad RNG for that. If I had 6999, I think I'd quit this game forever. I'm talking about the one that just fell, Latte. Sometimes it, like, completely blocks your path. You just get fucking... cock blocked. Delta time randomness. What the fuck does that mean, bro? Uh, well, if I'm the ugliest person in the world, I could just be a VTuber. So, yeah. I never leave my house anyway, so it work out. Okay. You actually do get a lot of knuckleheads. More than I thought. Alright, so all that's left now is to not be cringe. Is it possible to not be cringe? We will find out. Nah, this isn't good enough for YouTube. But maybe next time. Maybe next PB. Well, I mean, I haven't even finished this one. Dude, look at how good the run was, though. I was playing like 30 something seconds off the summer best. Or it might have been like 40 into Guess 2. Like, it was like the ultimate fucking movie run. I'm kinda glad I'm not gonna get a god run before I can get 59 Summer Burst. Normally the lag spike doesn't happen that quickly. <laughs> it's kind of surprised to see that. movie community try to finish a tournament challenge. Bro, thank you. Am I gonna get sub one phase three entry? I might. This might sound bad, but I honestly don't know how long these phases last. I just don't think about it. <laughs> it's gonna be close. Nah, I didn't get it. That would have been cool. I remember when I used to not even be able to enter Neptune with like sub one. Well, that wasn't even like that long ago.
You say that with every run. I think the spitters are enough to ride off the platforming in this game. And that is how it's done, I guess. That's how it's uh, poorly done, but I, you know, I suppose it was done. <laughs> Fucking, well, dude, that that run was like so weird because like I I don't even I don't even know like I I had like the best run ever, and then I and then Dennis no and then guess two happened, and then Plank happened, but then I was able to. Finish it out after that. Fucking hell, dude. <laughs> That's... Dude, that, that run, I was playing like... I was playing like 39 seconds off the summer best going into... into guess 2. We have just simply... like, that has not happened in this community before. Except for like Cole. That's fucking insane, dude. What the fuck? This run was so good. Like, the entire run was really, really f Okay, the 3k was mid as fuck, but like... It was carried, but... Okay, I've never had a 558. I've never had a 558 3k exit. So... That picked up the slack. And like, I nearly golded BBBH. I got the one frame jumps in Rubbidub 2. You know, like, all of this is just really good. Like, the whole fucking thing is just really, really good. Like, the worst segment in the run, other than Monumental, because I should- and Guess 2, was probably, like... Was probably 3k. That was probably the third worst segment in the run, and I lost, like... Off of, like, a realistic 3k, I lost, like, 3 seconds. Third biggest time save is three seconds. Dude, I don't want to run against these splits. I need to make one X pace or, or like O X pace. Fucking hell. Dude, and you know what the funny thing is as well? I played a minute 16 off the summer best just like in fucking all extras. <laughs> Except in, um, it's more impressive in all extras. But dude, this run could have been like something insane. It's still good. It's still definitely good. But... It could have been... I... If that run... If that run finished out as good... Like, dude. If I played... Really good for the rest of the run... Like I did for the for the first, like, two-thirds of the run... I would have gotten one flat. And then I would have just killed the... First of all, I would have been, I would have been the first person to play within a minute of Summer Best. And then second, I would have just killed the category for, like, God knows how long. Until, until there's a bunch of more strats, basically. I would have just completely killed it. But unfortunately, this run is not quite good enough yet to just, like, not, like, to just get, to stop now. Because, like, the time losses were ugly. That's the unfortunate thing. And I think I need a little more of a push. I need, like, either 1x or 0x. Because it's a 20, I want to get, like, low 1x, maybe, like, 101, like, 13. This is pr this isn't gonna be public on YouTube because it's not good enough. But if I can get like a one hundred one twelve or something, then that would definitely be on YouTube. Also, I won fifty nine summer burst. Yay! That was just the best like gameplay like ever, dude. And then I fucked it. <laughs> but to be fair, how the hell was I gonna clutch that out? That just would have been ridiculous. And then, you know, even if you do get the Rumu clutch everything out, Mindy might have something to say about it. 
but luckily this time she cooperated. She must have saw that I was minus eight and just gave me a bone. <laughs> like, she felt bad for me. <sighs> Fucking hell, dude. Oh yeah, I need to post that. There we go. And we will also put it in personal bests. Oh shit. Ah! It should have been me, not him! It's not fair! Mindy skip will never happen again. True. Um, Zero, thank you very much for the three gifted me, subs. Not him. Oh wait, you know what that means? It's not fair! Well, that's another sub goal fulfilled. I will never finish them all. <laughs> thank, though, thank you very much. It should have been me, not him! It's not fair! Dude, fucking hell... Dude, 100% times 3 is gonna take, like... It's it's gonna take, like, a... Like, seven and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, I could do... Would you guys watch me play a floating block hack that's based off of, like, a galaxy? Uh, a level in Mario Galaxy? Because otherwise I'm just gonna go... I also need to make a note to highlight Dennis, too. Fucking hell, dude. That run. I can't even call it a roller coaster because it, it, it wasn't like this. It was like this. <laughs> like, it wasn't like a proper roller coaster. <laughs> I don't even know what to call that run. It was good. It was definitely good. But the time losses would make you think that this run is terrible. <laughs> I need to make pace splits. I'm gonna be pretty busy tonight. I need to rank the splits. I need to highlight everything. I need to rank stuff. Like, I need to do a lot. I need to make pace splits. Um, I'm probably gonna make OX, and then I'm probably gonna make, like, 14. Like, something like that. I wanna... But even if I do finally get a god run, I kinda wanna keep playing the category until I get, um... 59 summer best. I'm just too fucking close, dude. Just getting a really good now though, man, and then golden like knucklehead will be enough. Like, ooh, this is pretty cool. Wait, you guys seen this? Yeah, you are. This is this is pretty cool. I like the I like the costume. Oh, this is how it works. This is pretty cool. Yeah, the music is. Good. It, it sucks. You never get to hear it. Really, you only get to hear it if you're like a beginner, and if you're not doing like BBBH backwards. Uh oh, my fucked. I'm not fucked. Wait a minute. Oh, that's cool. The fog had disappeared. Dude, the enemies disappear when... Dude, that's based. Am I gonna run out of health? I might. Not before I get the extra, though. Oh, I think it's a safe point. Yeah, and I got a checkpoint. It's all good, guys. It's all good. Dude, this keys? Weenie reference? Holy shit, dude. I don't think I've ever seen anybody use keys for outside of Weenie. That, that's actually cool. I don't think I've seen it before. Oh, dude. That's cool. 
my weenie is massive, like a boss. I mean, it must be if I got that run just now. Yay, I did it. I can differentiate block textures, I can differentiate your mom, how about that, bro? That was a cool mod, I like that. Floating block challenges and spongeball challenges are used aplenty. But, um, that's because, like, they just, they work so well. Oh. <laughs> bro died. That was cool. I should, probably shouldn't play anymore, or else I'll probably fucking... Run out of mods. I only have, like, five or six more that I can play. I'm- I'm really- I'm trying to wait patiently until iPie's hack comes out, and then I'll play it on stream, and if it's a good run, I'll- I'll try and run it on stream as well, I think it'd be cool. After I get, like, an properly super good optimal summer best, it'll be, like, 59, 58. And by then, it means I would've played a minute 22 off my summer best, so there's still more to go. I don't know how much more I want to PB by, but... It's gonna be quite a challenge from now on. It's no longer gonna be like, well, it was never easy to PB anyway, but it's no longer gonna just require like a decent run. It's gonna require like a good run to PB now. Factory produced. I'm fucking, I'm being patient. He said it'd be like two months or something, and he said that like a week ago, so. Anyway, I think it's time for me to go offline now. Thank you for all the GGs and everything. And for stopping around, stopping by. Um, this run was really fucking weird, and... It's, it's gonna be quite a challenge now to beat it, but it's not anything I haven't done before. So look forward to a 59 Summer Best soon. And look forward to hopefully a 1x or maybe even an OX soon. Well, maybe not soon, I don't know. Um, so yeah, thank you all. And goodbye.